I have no idea, actually. We are here. Is that a Rodman hoodie? Oh, that's fucking dope. It is. It is a Rodman hoodie. should have got the <clears> Pistons <throat> one, but I mean, like, I understand. Uh-oh. No, no, I muted me. Oh, okay. Good, I got I to gotta talk a mute, man. So if you see me talking, I'm talking to chat. I ain't good. So oh. you got wine? Is that, is that grape juice? Or are you drinking wine? Oh, no, buddy. We drinking Chaos Theory. What the fuck is that? Chaos Theory is a really good um, wine. Mm -hmm. A black-owned wine company. Oh. I've never seen it. I don't drink a lot it's, of wine. Uh, Let's see. Uh, I went to... Um, I went to... Um, let me turn Frank off because it's, it's, <laughs> it's distracting. Frank, it's Frank Ocean? Distracting. No, no, it's Frank Sinatra, man. Oh, Same still Frank. Frank Sinatra. Yeah, I had him on loop. Okay. But uh, no, we went to a, a vineyard in uh, New Year's last year. Mm -hmm. And we went touring. Oh, and <coughs> one Valley. of my guys is like real into wine. Mm. And so he like took us on this big ass like tour and uh, got me all into wine. Yeah, wine can be really nice. Uh, some people, uh, there's some of it's total bullshit. Um like, um, you know, the really, really expensive high-end wines and shit. Like, they can't actually really tell much of a difference. But, brother, I'm going to disagree with you right there. I, there's a whole, like, documentary about it where it's, like, uh, some of that's bullshit. But. Not a documentary, Jake. A whole documentary about it. A whole documentary? A whole one. But. uh, YouTube video I want to show you. <clears throat> I'll show you a fucking YouTube video. Uh, do they sell no, no, this so, just normal so, stores all over the place? Because I, I have a, a wine I, I, place around here that uh, imports all sorts of shit, so I'll go check it out. It's, it's possible. I don't I don't know exactly what they sell to, but um, sure. But like I, I know can, that if I can buy it online. You, yeah, 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 it's it's yeah, it's chaos, but it's by the Brown family. No, no pun. But um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, so I thought it was bullshit too, and then I, you could like taste oh, yeah. well curated wine as opposed to like the yeah, cheap stuff i totally and like agree. I, I don't even like that i can do that now it's annoying because now it's just like yeah i'm like one of those like oh no oh, okay. excuse me that's no, uh, <laughs> it's a bit too peaty for me yeah it's like uh like it's not that you can't tell a difference between low-end and high-end wine it's then once you get to a certain point like it's not that nuance it's either good or it's not like you just yeah. it's it's uh, it's more about the um, the whole sommelier culture where those people, you know, they sniff the fucking wine and they they swish it in their mouths and they spit that shit out into a butt. Like it's, like, at a certain point, it doesn't. There's not a thing. But uh, I like that stemless too, classy. Mm, Starting off classy. early though. Um, you know what? Yeah, you're retired. I Fuck am. it. Well, see, I was supposed to drink last night. So. That's right. We were talking. You're like, and I didn't, right? Because. I ended up opening up these magic box tricks, magic magic, box magic trick tricks? boxes. Yeah. From I bought two two little magic boxes that like have like a whole bunch. Like they teach you how to do magic, and That's I cool. gave them to my kids. Yeah, and so we were like doing the tricks, and I was showing them the tricks, and well, they were dope. getting all into it. And I forgot to drink. Have you been to a magic show before? Oh yeah, love magic. What kind? What's your favorite kind of shit? Like the really theatrical stuff, or love church? That's my favorite kind of magic. Church magic, <laughs> the fucking Holy no, Ghost no. and shit. <laughs> I love that kind of magic. <laughs> no, um, I don't know. Is there is there like categories of magic? Well, yeah. So when like I think of my favorite type, <laughs> yeah, my favorite type isn't like the big stage performance with the fucking flashy shit. It's no, usually like, like the uh, like the David Blaine shit, where it's like yeah. he does street, street magic. magic and shit. <laughs> I love that stuff. <clears throat> I probably watched yeah. literally street ma David Blaine street magic probably like fifteen times. It's just super. Yeah, good. it's a good one. It's a good one. He's a weird. Um, fucking I think they got a little. Probably. I mean, <laughs> oh, have you seen, he did a TED talk. It's so strange. Really? I, I haven't seen his TED talk. David Blaine's TED talk. I got to check that one out. It's pretty weird. No. Um, the uh, the the one dude took it a little too far. Chris Angel. Yeah, I don't like far. that shit. That was yeah, like, it's like a, a, like a metal far. drummer aesthetic. I didn't care for that it's shit. Wild. It's yeah. a little wild. Yeah, and then he started like walking on water like over a pool and like come off him you're, you're you're stepping on a glass like come on buddy, it's right good. like uh i don't know it's just i like the i like to pretend to be fooled like don't yeah, like penn and teller do a really good job I think. yeah they do i had an email jam with them at one point with uh i I've, I've i have orbited people like penn before on accident like not like following them but like like, yeah, uh, like, like I've been, I've been, I've been talking to people that just went on 
like the pod, like uh, I think it does like Sunday. Does he do Sunday service? What is it? Sunday I morning. I, don't think so. I mean, he we copyrighted do... it, so I don't think he. Does That's that. true. We did. We did. We sent a copyright. I need better change his name. Don't even, don't even try it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he used to do a podcast. I don't know if he still does it, um, Penn specifically, but. Got you. Teller doesn't. He he's probably we're tight. Con- we're, we're a tight knit group us atheists. We just we like to stick together. We all hang out. Yeah, it's just like yeah. uh, I remember when I first came out. Like, click. Right. I remember when I first came out. It was just overwhelming. Like. You too, and then like <laughs> yeah. overwhelming, like we're here if you need you or you need us. You know, we're here for you. Go strong. I was like, I didn't know this was a team. I just joined. I had no clue. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't know either. I grew up like this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll like, I, like I, I, I wasn't raised <laughs> religious, so I was just like, yeah, I don't know that Jesus stuff. Sure sounds weird, but I like Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas is dope. It is dope. It's I, my favorite holiday. Oddly enough, I never even celebrated it growing up because my father. Um, I was raised Muslim. Right. So Did you like Ramadan never, and stuff? Yeah, but we were like um, not 100% practical. We prayed to the East. We didn't do it five times a day, but we prayed to the East. And it was like, you know, we're like um, everybody else in America that pretended to do religion. <laughs> <laughs> so just the just the, the muslim ear version we of it. it. We did it for show. You want to come say hi? <clears throat> come say hi. Who's saying hi? Can you hear me? There you go. Hi. Get low, get low, get low. Hi. Come back. Come back. Your services are no longer needed. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, if, if some food happens to make it on the stove and you want to bring she closed the door. All right. <laughs> that's that's what, what you deserved at that point. She closed the door. All right. Yeah. <laughs> she is a good cook, though. Yeah, I don't yeah. blame you. I don't blame you for taking a shot there. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. That's true. I think Wayne. Michael Jordan. Was yeah, that was Michael. Skinny. That was Michael Jordan. Yep, definitely. I don't know if he or is it Wayne Gretzky. It was Wayne Gretzky. <laughs> yeah, is the Michael Jordan of hockey? <laughs> yeah. Have you ever watched hockey before? Uh, I went to a playoff game. Dude, that's way different. Those are fun as shit, and I don't even like hockey that much. <laughs> that was the first hockey game I ever saw. They're fucking nuts, aren't they? People and go it went crazy. to a fucking shootout. Isn't that exciting? Like, oh. Is this not the dopest shit ever? And then Playoff I figured, hockey I realized is ridiculous. Not all hockey games yeah, end no. like that. Mm-mm. Playoff hockey is super fun. I get it. But like regular season hockey is the most boring shit ever. Yeah. I, I can't do, watch um, it. There's 45 year old men out there just like skating. It's fucking awful. 100% of shots you don't take. So just, I'm trying to find out the origin of this. It's Wayne Gretzky. You might see a Michael Scott joke though from The Office. Yeah, I saw that. <clears throat> So, <laughs> so somebody said, I've done research and there's nothing definitive. I've also heard of it attributed to Michael Jordan. It's just some random inspirational quote that society has tied to sports legend to create some emphasis. There was a thread about it a while back. And then said, no, that was Michael Scott. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so there's no like definitive, like there's no where like he actually said it. Did, did Wayne Gretzky not actually say that? Did you just fucking, is this a uh, Mandela effect shit? It might have been. Oh. Mandela effect is so dope. But it's, it's so hilarious. Weird. It's hilarious. I like oh, this. Have you, you ever had an argument? You think there's any truth to that? I, no. I doubt you're a skeptic. Yeah, yeah okay. No. But um, you know what? The the, I, the phenomenon is real, but not what the not the result of it, right? Like, yeah, I, I agree. So, so, like, we're not obvious. Like, <laughs> I love that the human brain, <laughs> when confronted with being wrong, goes surely i (laughs) surely this intellect cannot be wrong we must have been sucked into an alternate reality in the 80s i've never thought of it as an ego driven it's so oh my god it's so (laughs) ego driven it really is because like the other day my girlfriend was talking to a a religious kid on twitter who was saying all the normal shit about like Oh, look at all these verses in the Bible. And she's like, you know, she's with me and she's, you know, it's my career um, right. doing the Bible stuff. So uh, she goes, no, actually, this, this, and this is what that says. And then he had like a meltdown. He had like a, like a, an existential crisis just Oof. because he got corrected and then looked it up. And he was like, surely, the, I cannot be wrong. Like, this is, have you heard of the Mandela <laughs> effect? I'm freaking out right now. Like, 
Yeah. No, bro, you were just incorrect. You were just misinformed, and that's like it's okay. I don't. Miss <laughs> no, I, I, I. That's kind of why I stopped being like a, a an atheist, like asshole. Yeah, yeah. And what I mean by Everyone that is goes like through their face, like poking and prodding people and getting them to see you're incorrect, and let me show you why. Because it's like to see people, um, struggle. Like, like one, it's not a provable thing, right? So, but two, but to see people struggle is like not a position I like to take and it's not the way I want to live life just all confrontational like that. Well, it depends on how they're doing it. Like I don't like to be the one that's <clears throat> like wrecking their shit, but I like to ask yeah. questions. Like especially because it's usually usually it's someone coming after at me with their That's boot, what right? I don't care. That, I don't that, care. Right, right. I'm not out here like proselytizing, right? I'm out here if you're proselytizing against me, yeah. Well, fuck it. Okay, let's talk about this. That's fine. I like this conversation a lot. I think it's, yeah. I think it's a beautiful conversation. Um, as far as the not falsifiable thing, I, the Christian, like, the the specific beliefs are definitely falsifiable. But general theism isn't. That's the difference. I'm t- it's not, though. It's not I, I really think it is because, like... like. All right, so if you, if you take, like, the divinity of Jesus, for, for example. Yeah, sure. How can that be falsifiable to somebody who believes it to be true? You mean how can I prove them? How? Well, I guess that's a little bit different, right? So well, no, that's what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, I, I know. I, 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 so I, I understand. To what a you're rational saying. mind, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. I understand. What it you're is saying. falsifiable. So, but it's not to somebody. It's not that, that, believes that, that specific thing isn't what's going to get them. Um, <clears throat> it's all the Nothing other. Nothing is though. It's well, well, not my experience. Um, uh, Buddy, I've converted some goddamn Christians. I really have on accident. <laughs> like literally, just because being accessible and kind of funny when you do it. And you go mm-hmm. like, isn't this fucking weird that this happened? And you make a joke about it, and then someone goes and thinks and does it on their own. It's more of a yeah. passive thing. It's I'm never going to be able yeah, to like. Never I'm never going to be able to like get you on something. Like we've yeah. talked about it. Like there's lots of really good questions to ask Christians, but there's good questions to ask anybody about like, yeah. you know, those higher questions like meaning of life type shit. Um, but as far as like Actually, general theism, I can't argue against general theism really. Like I don't know. It it's like arguing against any sort of like like thought like you can have that thought and you can justify yeah. it i can't necessarily yeah, tell you you're wrong for it but i can tell you why i don't believe it i have a great line about that actually let's hear it and it's a self-proclaimed self-proclaimed great line uh it's on that uh my new project swan <clears throat> i mean sorry uh, a late february mm-hmm. and it says how can i argue with your feelings how can emotions be wrong they can't yeah um emotions are are valid um, they are. You feel important. how you feel. Yeah. Um, but which is not necessarily you, the mechanisms uh, by which you experience those. Um, so that's. I think oh, that's oh, part no, of the that, human struggle. Uh, so that, uh, not not necessarily by the mechanisms in which. So, you like, experience. if I get upset, I don't know. Like, kind of the spilt milk stuff, right? If I drop milk and I get genuinely upset, Shouldn't the feeling, the feeling. I fuck. I don't like milk either, but you know. It's like, right. um, uh, you know, my sister says milk. Milk. <laughs> She says milk. A lot of white people like say M- milk. M E L K. I don't know why she does it. Nobody milk. around us does it. Nobody has ever done it. She says milk. Do you bro. hear pillow too instead of pillow? She says pillow as oh, well. Who are these it. people? I don't understand why she oh, does no. that. Oh no, I grew up with people like that too. Fucking wild. Oh, before we get too far off, yeah. of your people. You got you're selling pillow. I saw a video. Oh. Um, <clears throat> and probably you probably know about it because it was in Saginaw, Michigan. Oh, maybe and it was about it was about uh, That's where I live. There, y'all have a fucking police tank. Oh yeah. We, yeah <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and some <laughs> some 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 dudes pulled up <coughs> the side of it. They were like, "Dude, oh my god, dude!" Were they white? That's that sounds white. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> That's fucking awesome, man. And then like. They're oh like, yeah, the white guys are like, "This is yeah. awesome." But they're excited. But then, but then they, they then, then they realize, right? They're like, "Oh my god, it's a no! Oh, wow, it's fucking dope!" And then, and then it's driving out. They're like, "Hold up, is it that bad here?" That's <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's not realize, that like, bad here. Oh, hold on, man. So we have a military vehicle. <laughs> when I was a kid, Saginaw was very violent. Um, mm-hmm. The war on drugs was the big one, um, but there was lots of gang violence and shit. In the last ten years, it really hasn't been the case. I I don't know right. when exactly it stopped, but it wasn't because of police intervention. It's because people were like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> eh, 
I don't want to get anything anymore. Saginaw, I don't care. Like Flint, Flint has it way worse now. Um, but even even yeah. so, well, the... Flint's been Flint's been bad. Flint. Um, I don't blame them. Honestly, they've been fucked over. What's the one in, <coughs> what's the one in Indiana? Gary, Gary, Indiana. Yeah. Are y'all close to that or no? Uh, yeah, it's southwest of here. Where where are you where are you at on the? Uh, <laughs> what is it? The uh, right here. Boom. Right there. Bam, you right there. So yeah, so Gary, Indiana. Gary, Indiana would here. be like right here. Ooh, okay, it'd be this way. Yeah. Well, this is Canada. No, I'd be right here, bro. This is Canada. Indiana's down here. You crazy? I mean, I don't know enough about Indiana. Michigan topography, so. I mean, just it's just like the United States map, my guy. I had a um, <laughs> I had a I had a. Uh, You're thinking of Ohio. Uh, no, no, no. I had. Ohio is to the bottom right. Indiana's to the oh, bottom I mean, left. I think wherever you live there, but I had a uh, a teacher from Michigan in fourth grade. She was a fucking hippie, and it was so dope because I was a little kid hippie. Did she have that accent? And so we vibed. I don't remember. I was too young to even oh, recognize that. Bobby, Bobby Generic mom vibe. Yeah, you may, she might have. Yeah, but I remember. <coughs> but I remember she always used to. Yep, that's a thing. Like I don't it. know why. Well, I knew. I do know why. It's very easy, but like, we should be embarrassed of that. Why do we? Why do we already carry that around? Uh, it's pretty cool, man. I don't know. Think so. Yeah, I think it's pretty I cool. Know. I think it, like people from California are like, I'm from here. No, you, there's no one in California that does that. Yeah, but they should though. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna steal my culture. Is that what you're doing? Have that's what it is. Fuck. I mean, hey. all right, countered. Right back at you. <laughs> right back at how you like it. <laughs> Taking my tater tot casserole. <clears throat> <laughs> this is so weird being able to see you now, dog. Have you not been? See, I've been I've been keeping you up You've on my side. Yeah, yeah. That's just kind of creepy, actually. Now that I think about it, you've just been kind of creeping on my conversation. Well, I didn't know I was creeping on your conversation until we are talking to one another, though. <laughs> but it's like, not really creeping just, on my own conversation, is it? You like you like spying in on me. It's like wow. It's like the opposite of spying. You know I'm here. So uh, <laughs> we were talking about religion before I. We I, were I talking about religion. Thank it all. Yeah. Military vehicle. Saginaw's a fucking wild place. We got a lot of churches here. I, there, I couldn't find a house not next to a church when I was looking really? for a house here. Yeah, I have a church right over here. Just uh, is the north like religious like that? I didn't think it was. It's like it's like kind of religious. Do you, guys, like, you, you guys consider yourself Midwest? I never understood that shit. Yeah, it is Midwest. I don't know why. It's, well, I do know why. All so, Western about that. Well, it used to be. <laughs> it used to be the furthest Western colonies or states. Like mm -hmm. we were the thirteenth state. Or something, and so we were the furthest west state, and then there was the territories. So we were called the Midwest, and it just stuck. Yeah, because we were because it's not the Midwest. Middle, we were Middle West. Everything else was West West, you know. <laughs> and now it's not. No, I've lived in Idaho, which is basically <clears throat> Midwest because they're in the middle. They're not on the coast, but they're next to the. You lived in coast. Idaho. I did for a little bit. Boise. Boise's nice. Oh, okay. Um, well, if I... you really like. White potatoes. Mormons and potatoes, yeah. Literally, other are the potatoes like that much better, or is it nah. just kind of like okay? It's just well, a, a Yukon gold <clears throat> potato is a legit potato, though. That's a good ass potato, as far as potatoes go. Yeah, I mean potatoes <laughs> go. Potatoes are pretty good. <laughs> they I love their license oh, you know plates. I was, try? I was gonna try. Um, oh, uh, have you ever heard of the potato diet? I have. You're just going to eat potatoes like Mark Watney? So, so, so apparently, I don't know who Mark Watney is, but He's, apparently. You've seen The Martian? Oh, yeah. He, just, yeah. he just shits and eats potatoes. That's his whole thing. But so I guess they did their research because so apparently a potato is like one of the best yeah. foods you can eat, like nutritionally. And yeah, you can survive of off potatoes. Yeah. yeah, you you can survive off potatoes. And so um, I didn't know uh, that you could do that. And so there were these people on the internet and they were like going on potato diet so like for two weeks or for like a month they would eat nothing but one dude did it for a year of nothing but potatoes and he lost he was like 300 pounds and he lost like 200 yeah. pounds he lost 200 pounds he was 100 pounds yeah. well i mean you know he's probably like 350 he's like 150 now you know like come on man. oh okay but all um, right like, god damn maybe he should have fucking 70, maybe done six months 70 pounds now. <laughs> i was like Holy he's shit. on dialysis it's amazing <laughs> 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 Nothing more refreshing than than dialysis, okay? <laughs> no, um, but I was I was, I was interested in it, um, because I, I this holiday season has been horrible for me. Dog Absolutely shit horrible. diet, 
absolutely horrible. I'm talking about I have probably done the worst I've ever done. As I'm drinking wine. I feel like you deserve one (laughs) holiday season where you're not this. Yeah, but then if I do this, right, and like every holiday season, then it's it's always going to be something. And and like if you're always playing catch up, you never feel like it's a lifestyle rather than. That's fair. Then then you're doing health for for like appearance rather than really being healthy. And that's That makes sense. It's it's harder to keep up like that. And so since I had a whole life of pushing my heart to the maximum, I think I should keep going. <laughs> well, that's not necessarily the healthiest for your heart, but as far as like No, I, that's what I'm saying. But uh as far as the rest of your like I think the nutrition is probably the most important part, yeah. Did you Yeah. Uh well, you, you kind of came into the league when nutrition was probably starting, right? Like Yeah, I mean, it was like It's like chicken I mean, and green I was beans, the first like Vegan. I was the first. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was the first uh, like major sport athlete to be a vegan. Like major that, sport. I'd like to talk about it. It can't be the first. Ever, yeah, I was gonna say. Oh, no, no, I'm not gonna be. That. I was the first to settle. <laughs> no, I was like the first that came out like during the prime of their career. Yeah. Like so, I know Carl Lewis. I think he did it a long time ago, like in the '80s or the mm-hmm. '90s. But I think it was at the tail end. Right. So like I was like in the prime of my career. I was fresh off of two Pro Bowls, Russian right. title, like, and I did it. And it was weird as fuck, actually. There was like ESPN debates about it. That is like weird. Skip, skip and Stephen A were talking about it. Fuck Skip. <laughs> <clears throat> Do you think he's total full of shit? I think he's full they're of char- shit. They're, they're, they're characters, man. Like, I feel like Stephen think... buys into his own shit. I feel like 100%. I feel like Skip is a I feel like Skip is a real character. Like that he is uh, he has ended up buying into. Yeah. Well, I don't. Well, that that could be possible. I don't know him well enough to make that. The drip uh, Bayless stuff is so fucking cringy, dude. The what? The drip Bayless stuff. Well, it's he's typical with... white. Like, <laughs> let me appeal to young blackness so I can. I feel like it was Shannon Sharp's pro- fault, though. I think he was the one that said it. It's possible because he's his. Uh, he ran. He ran with it. Yeah. But I mean, I don't. I don't hate it all the way though. Because it's like I think it's just because it's Skip. <laughs> like I feel like if Skip. Scott Van Pelt was doing. Well, it, he has like he has he has those he has those opinions that are controversial just for the sake of being controversial. It's not necessarily yeah 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 like he like he's anti LBJ when he's clearly the best player on the planet like the last 10, yeah come on fifteen years Kawhi's no. close so like, though Kawhi's close no, and Giannis close. is fucking close. It's not close. It's not close. what. At the, I'm saying, I'm saying, not in his prime. I don't think anyone necessarily is as close to LeBron as he was right, in his prime. But right, right now, today, right now, Giannis is right close, there. It's not close. Okay, no, let's let's take all things in consideration. LeBron is, is and I think he's there. Isn't player. a more complete pl- basketball player? Like, I agree. Michael Jordan is my favorite. I mean, I'm wearing a Rodman yeah. Sunday, right? Like Michael Jordan is my my favorite basketball player of all You're time. You're right about LeBron. LeBron James is a better all around basketball player than Michael Jordan. I agree. Michael Jordan's a better scorer, right? Like he's a better scorer. He's a better like if if there's three seconds left, I would rather I'd rather have Mike have the ball. But in that same sense, LeBron James is definitely uh, a closer. Like he gets a bad rap for not being a closer, but if you look at the statistics, <clears throat> he closes games very well. Probably better than Michael Jordan. He yeah, he could. People sleep on Mike's defense, but he was like no no, no nobody nobody that knows Michael Jordan sleeps on. That's or, nine or nine time first all yeah. defense. Like, well, no, but you you and me that we're we're real fans, but I'm just saying like people like a someone who's just like a casual basketball fan goes, oh yeah, Michael right. Jordan he scored thirty points a game, like you know what I mean. Yeah. But so did no, no, he, uh, so did you know Allen Iverson, but no one talks about him as being the greatest. He was dope um, though. Well, I, I think his tenure wasn't as long, and no. it's people are obsessed with championships, mm-hmm. and so it's like he won championships. That I will grant. In a sense, see, I'm not, I'm not like going. If we go by championships, Bill Russell's got to be the best all the time. But that's what I'm saying. So I'm not all gung ho about championships because it's it's one of those things that people discount the team for some reason, yeah. like all the time. Like Michael Jordan had, I think it's worse one of the football. greatest. It's e- it's easier to to help will your team in a championship in basketball than in football. hundred sure. percent. Yeah. Like you can you can dominate a game, but you still gotta got you have to have a squad, bro. Like you mm-hmm. like you can't like like when, when was the um. The the final series where LeBron carried him 
and it's like there's only so much he could do, and they still lost. To when the they lost to the game. Mavericks, <clears throat> both. Oh, well, no, five. that that game he was he didn't really show up. <coughs> he didn't really show up that series. The Cavaliers or the Heat, LeBron. Right. Yeah, I mean, with the with the Heat, um, when, the, when, the, when they played the Mavericks, he didn't really yeah. show up that. Series. Yeah. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when he played Golden State, and it was. Oh, I think they could have won that Dallas? first game. No, no, no. They, they, he carried them that series. Yeah. But I'm talking about the one where they could have won the first game. It was like the next year. They could have won the first game, but J.R. Smith. <laughs> fucking J.R. Smith in that right? meme. Yeah. Oh, my God. Like, As a basketball player, <clears throat> that drove me fucking crazy. That, that was tough. You got to have like, your IQ hat on. You've been play- you don't have to have IQ to fucking. It's, it's you've tough. been playing since high school. You've been playing since you I've were been a kid. There. You know that shit. There. There, was, there was one time that I was. Let's see. I was in a. I was in a game. It was preseason, though, right? So I was using that into it. <clears throat> it was, I was. It was when I was in Miami. And this happens sometimes, right? This happens where you're just kind of in the flow of the game, and everything is so routine that you just kind of lose sight of the situation. But it worked in my favor. So it's like, um, I I ran a, a little out route, and I had I, I caught it, and I had to get out of bounds. But I didn't know I had to get out of bounds. I wasn't paying attention. Clock, but I got out of bounds anyway because that's my style, <laughs> and it worked out. And then, and I came off. He was like, "Man, that's such a smart play. Good job, good job." And I looked up. I was like, "Oh shit, I had to get out of bounds. <laughs> I didn't know that." And then so it was one second left, and I didn't know I had to get out of bounds, but I got out of bounds. There you go. <clears throat> Sometimes you get in the flow of the game, <clears throat> and you just forget situational, situational ball it happens. Was that in the first half it. of like a preseason? That was a preseason. Game? That was a preseason. Like, game, probably so don't play in the second half that much. But if it was in the finals, I think I would have had my thinking cap on maybe a little more. I feel like maybe yeah. you I don't, would. I don't, I don't judge. Don't. I, don't, I don't judge, man, because it's like. But JR does this shit all. The, it's not like it happened once. Yes. Maybe that guy, you know. He does do it a lot. I think he. I don't know. JR is a fucking character. Good shooter. Good shooter. Great shooter. Great shooter. <laughs> Carl Malone just deserves a ring just because. Uh, didn't he? Didn't he? Isn't he like a, I don't want to say a pedophile? Yeah, yeah, that one. Something like that. Yeah. The mailman. What's? I think John Stockton was fucking. He was ridiculous. Um, people talk about John Stockton like they talk about Gary Payton's defense, and it's really weird to me. I just never grew up. Loving his game. <laughs> he plays the whitest pickup basketball like, ever. It, yeah, no. You know, he... you know why I hated his game more? Because <laughs> coaches would be like, this is how you should. And I'm just like, that shit is boring, dog. I'm not trying oh, to bounce past everything. That's why That's why Jason <laughs> Williams. White chocolate. Oh, yeah. Of the Kelly. Sacramento Kings? Come on. I could talk about so 90s good. basketball and early 2000s basketball for 14 straight hours. We shouldn't do that. Somebody said, I bet Jake thinks salt is spicy. <laughs> nah, not me. But definitely. Oh, can I tell you about my fucking Thanksgiving? Holy shit, Oh, please. Shit, I'll dude. tell you about mine. Oh, man. So, okay. Thank you for the uh, biddies, though, man. <laughs> I am very white. I am definitely. Uh, salt is spicy. I'm in, the, I'm in the noble family of Caucasia or whatever. But, mm-hmm. um, so, I'm a. I'm a cook. I, I um, before I did this shit, I was uh, a hell of a preface. I was in. Uh, I was. Well, I, I ran restaurants and stuff. So, oh, um, you were real. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah. I told you. I've I've told you many times that I can hey, cook, and you're brother, like, I don't know. Book hey, by its brother, cover over a here. Lot of, a lot of information goes in here. I got a I got a little guy in there okay, sorting through what I need okay. to keep and what I don't. Man. <laughs> but I got uh, you now, though. He, he put it in a Jake slot and it's cook. I got you. There we go. Yep. And uh, um. So I have been, I mean, I started out in fast food, but ended up in real restaurants and shit. But, um, so I know how to cook. I know how to cook. And this year, <laughs> my brother and his girlfriend, a fiance, I don't know. Um, they were, I come from a, a family that grew up literally in the woods. They're all rednecks. They listen to like country music and like tractors and shit. It's just not me. It's just not my fucking style. Right. They, I don't know they, why. They my entire my entire family like my, my brother on Thanksgiving morning he went hunting before the, everyone came over like what that's not I, I don't do that anyway for what for a, for deer <laughs> gotcha yeah I mean, it's important though I got hey it, I've had venison it's delicious so um but it's just that's not, baby deer right no ven no no you're thinking of veal which is baby Damn. venison is just the name of the meat the deer uh, yeah. Sammy Sammy Schwami Samsonite. Samson, are you doing the dumb and dumber thing? Knew it started with an S. (laughs) 
Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> Total <laughs> distraction. Red herring. <laughs> so um, they called dibs on doing Thanksgiving this year because they just bought a house out in the middle of nowhere. And so they're out in the country. And so they're like, hey, we want to do Thanksgiving at our house. And everyone's like, okay, we'll come over to your house for Thanksgiving this year. And so she texts me at some point was like, hey, what are you bringing for, what are you bringing for your, a dish to pass for Thanksgiving or whatever? And I was like, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll what make. is a dish to pass? What is that? So you take, you make something, <clears throat> and you bring it over. It's, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I got you. Yeah. A potluck style. Um, yeah. so I was like, pumps. I'll make, I'll make, uh, the pumpkin pie cheesecake because I'm not just doing regular pumpkin pie. And I'm sorry, I didn't grow up with sweet potato pie, my man, okay? And you haven't taught me your – give me, your, give me, your, re- give me your recipe and maybe we'll consider it, okay? My grandmother passed down a gorgeous sweet I've potato I've never pie. had it um, because I'm, I'm worried that if I make it and I've never had it before, I won't know the standard to which I need to uphold. So I don't like that. I like to – Have uh, somebody black there. Have some. I see. The thing is, I have had black friends, but I moved away and came have back. Have your control group. Have your control I moved group. away and came back, <laughs> and I'm not just gonna be like, "Hey, you're black. Would you like to be my token black friend so I can eat your food?" You know what oh, I mean? Oh, and we've. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> my chat reminded me. We've we've established this on uh-huh. my on my stream. It's not cheesecake. It's cheese pie. I'm sorry. You guys call it cheese pie. It's it's cheese pie. There's there's nothing about it that's a cake. It's actually a pie. And okay, so you don't call it cheese pie, pie, but it's definitely in pie form. I will agree with you. I don't know why it's it called cheesecake. Cheese We're not, we don't we call it cheese pie here at the you, uh, you fucking stream. okay at the stream, but not in like your house growing up, right? Pumpkin. No, no. no okay, here. I was I, like, I that's have no kind of cake or pie growing up. <laughs> but here on this here on this stream, it's cheese pie. All right, so I made a pumpkin cheese pie. And it was delightful. It so much better anyway. It was delightful. Okay. And I made I made mac and cheese, and you would like it. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I made some other I made some other shit. Anyway, so I get there. Ravioli. I took fucking pictures. I took fucking pictures. Let me send Ooh, you can a. Can you share? Can you I am a hundred percent sending you a picture of what I was looking at. Okay. So she made like sweet potatoes, right? She boiled the sweet potatoes. Send it in the stream. We're gonna we're gonna judge your. Um... Oh yeah, I could put it. In, I could put it in Discord. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't even care. Judge it because I was fucking mad. I have a chat, um, and you're in that chat too. But um, I don't know if you saw it uh, in the football chat. Yeah, sometimes. No, 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 y'all, yeah, y'all yeah. be. We're it's a lot. Be busy. It's a lot. But uh, right, I, pop, I pop in there every now and then. Yeah, you do. <clears throat> um, so Joel is a chef, and like that's his job day to day. Two chefs in there. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's a chef. I was never a chef. I was a cook. Difference. Chefs, chefs go to like chefs are like high. Well, end I'm people. going back to my um yeah, yeah. My, my ratatouille jargon. Ratatouille jargon. Chef. Merci, <laughs> merci. Anyway, and he lives in the. He's a he's a he's a plongeur or something. Plongeur. He, <laughs> he grew up in the south as well, uh, and um, <clears throat> so he was getting he was getting a little heated about it, and I don't blame him because it was the blandest shit. I had ever seen. Okay, I'm gonna send you this picture in this chat right here. It's like it's sideways for some reason. I don't know why it went sideways. No, it's fine. I took a picture. Those those are mashed potatoes, and you can see the fucking sweet pota- sweet potatoes in the shot with that. It's it's awful. And here I have the sweet potatoes too, just by itself. What she did was she boiled this shit. In the water, these and then are, just, these are your sweet potatoes. No, I didn't make these. Oh no, yo. no, this is <laughs> yeah, yeah, yo. yeah. So here, let me. Hold sh- on, where's yours though? Where's your mac and cheese, bro? Oh, hold on. Hold on, she she, she gonna watch this and she gonna talk shit about her sweet potato. What is this? She's not. What does she call this? this? I don't know. <clears throat> it was bad. You don't know what she calls it? <laughs> it was not good. Uh. I mean, I can't judge <coughs> the mashed potatoes. The mashed I mean, potatoes. I have it before I finished it, so it doesn't have like the one. the topping. She didn't want really the topping. Like that. I didn't. Um, so it doesn't have the. Uh... Come on, bro. Send you. I don't need all these qualifiers. Send your goddamn food. I'm picture. sending it. I just. I didn't take a picture of it after it was done, but I have it like midway. Wow! Wow! There we go. I have it midway. That actually looks legit. Yeah, it is legit. It was fucking good. Okay. 
It was fucking okay. real good. But so I, okay. I this was uh, I cooked it covered, and then you take the cover off, and then you put it in the oven, and then it gets all bubbly and beautiful. But uh, so I, I took this exactly in progress. Yeah, yeah. So um, solid. here, That's I'll, solid, I'll show I'll show chat the uh, dog shit I had to deal with. Okay. So this is these are mashed potatoes. She boiled potatoes, smashed them, and put them in a bowl. But like big chunks of potato were coming out. There's no butter, no salt, no anything in it. No, no seasoning. But that's Nothing. kind of par for the course for. Um, it's not. I'm not used to that. Of. I'm white as fuck. I'm not. But used it's kind of like a. It's, it's a. It's a meme, right? Like white it people. It is. Dude, these these sweet potatoes were boiled. Oh my fucking god, they were boiled. She takes it. She doesn't strain them, right? She takes them out and puts the water in this fucking cereal bowl with the sweet potatoes, and then the, says sweet potato soup. And then the bitch fucking poured brown sugar on top of it and stirred it a little bit. Oh man, that is dude. So bad. Oh my fucking god, I was so <laughs> mad. And then here's my uh, midway mac and cheese. It was halfway, but uh, you can see yeah, some of this. That looked good. Right, yeah, I'm telling good. you, you would like it. You did your thing. You did your thing, right, y'all. Um, but uh, I bet you that everybody ate that shit, huh? Yeah, it was gone. I didn't take any home, and I took everything else home. I couldn't. I, I they do this wow. thing. I don't know. I don't oh, know you your have family to play? where they where they go. <laughs> hey, take this, and so I have my little Tupperware. Just no, put no, whatever no. you want in there. Oh, no, they, you, they get, you, get, you get you get to take a plate. You get like socially. They, like, well, we didn't have the, we didn't have the foam plate. <clears throat> sometimes my, my, my bigger family get gatherings. We have like the big plates. We put the see. Uh, wrap that's why you need it. more black people. Right, dude. My mom's because my mom's family has somebody always brings plates. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My mom's family, before my grandma died, we had um, like a 200 people get together on my mom's side. And it's super multicultural, super multicultural. Lots of white people, but I mean like like um, people of all walks of life. Uh, we had a couple Native American It was family? People. It was like a big family. Yeah, family. yeah. Married in, a lot of people were married in, but we had like Asian people and black people and Native American people and, and Arab people and uh, obviously a lot of white people. And um, that was great. I had like egg rolls and shit for Thanksgiving. It was great. It was dope. That's fine. Um, fried chicken and and so I like I, I grew up with um, the whitest of white and also not that. And so it was good. It was normal for me. And uh, this was this was oh, there's fucking like I don't know if I can keep my mouth shut next year if they try to call dibs on this shit. I don't know if I can go I'll, through this again. <laughs> I'm not going to that. Dog. I'm not. No. But it's like <clears throat> it's more so on some like disrespectful shit. Like how long did it take to make your sweet potato soup? That's what I'm saying. Like it felt like it took like no time at all. It didn't take that long. It was like, like people was, like people brine turkeys. It's like bro, two days. I like, brine you know turkeys. Like, <clears throat> I brine yeah. turkeys. That's what I said. My brother was like, "Hey, you gonna make the turkey?" I'm like, and I'm like, you felt that shit so much. You said, uh, oh, I brine oh, that's my holy. I that's my turkey. holy spirit shit. Yeah, right? was, brine was turkey. Oof. Yeah, no, I brine turkeys. So like, uh, you know, brine it for 12, 13 so, so, hours. So oh. this was my Thanksgiving. My Thanksgiving, <clears throat> like two or three days before, like, so my daughter got sick and then she passed it to both of us. And then everybody in the house was sick, right? Oof. So my, my two daughters were sick, my two boys were sick. And and we were like, they were all at the tail end of it. So they were feeling better. Yeah. But we was like sick as hell. And I'm just now, you can hear it, I'm coughing. Um, that's why I haven't been streaming this last I would have streamed on Thanksgiving, but I was like, I was too sick. I felt shit too. And so, yeah, so we we were like, Yo, I, I'm I can't cook. You know what I mean? <clears throat> she was like, I'm, I'm not cooking either. I was like, Well, fuck it, man. We'll just chill. We'll eat some breakfast food at breakfast, <clears throat> and then we'll go to like this fancy restaurant, uh, Del Frisco's. You heard of Del Frisco's? Yeah, we talked about it a little bit the other day. Oh yeah, that's right. It's like a steakhouse. So, uh, yeah, so we, yeah, so we went to the Frisco's and they had a Thanksgiving menu, which was ended up being really nice. It was, it was really dope, but <clears throat> you missed that. Like I was scrolling on like <clears throat> on like Instagram, mm -hmm. and I got FOMO. <laughs> I, got, I, got, I got hella FOMO. Oh, I was like, real. "Yo, fuck this!" And so my lady's friend, um, who was my dude's wife, um, she uh, made me a plate, and my lady went to go get it and Must brought me. And so like I got. And but it was just one plate, so I had to. <laughs> it's like ration it out. <laughs> oh my god! You just fucking shoveled it. Ate it like this, <laughs> like in prison. Yeah, I was eating prison uh, school lunch. Food. <laughs> uh, so I still got my plate, but uh, they they but, let's. I got my kids like we 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 swap time, mm. and these little fuckers, bro, like they're so picky with what they eat, and but when they come to my house. That shit don't fly, right? It's like right. you eat what's on the table, or else you don't eat. And so, like they they end up like just kind of sitting there, like 
Like they don't they didn't like the Thanksgiving food that this fucking four star restaurant chef cooked them. And I'm just like, you little ungrateful ass bastard. <laughs> but that I was love, my Thanksgiving. I love, <clears throat> I love that because of, <laughs> I think you talked about this last time where you come from this like you didn't have the luxury of being picky. <laughs> and like you look at it, you're trying to be compassionate to your kids, but also like, <laughs> definitely fuck you for this. <laughs> fuck that shit. I'm not being compassionate. That's funny. Like, I mean, I work so that they can have options, but then when they scoff at those options, it's yeah. like, you have no idea <laughs> what the real world is <clears throat> and it's not your fault, yeah. but you're going to get a dose of it when you come with that. And like, so as that kind of father, like you got to play the long, because yeah. it's almost like a chore to go to dad's house. Cause like you have to do chores. Oh yeah. You have to, you have to clean up. You have to pick up your room. You have to take out the trash because they don't do that at their mom. And and you have to eat what's at what's at the table, and so they're like, "Fuck, we, we gotta go home. When I have all these other options." That's so no. fucking weird. But like, when they're twenty five, and they get slapped in the face with the real world, hopefully I get that phone call. Be like, you know what, man? You was right, bro. You was right. <laughs> I like, imagine. I imagine it's probably gonna happen. Maybe you never know though. They might be. They might be entitled their whole life. Well, I mean, they're going to have a certain part. level of privilege, part. but yeah. I did my part, man. You did. I feel like, uh, I don't know. I feel like that's good, though. I feel like it's good to have them grounded at some point. Not like grounded, of like course. punished. I just they mean, like, need- grounded. <laughs> right. Like, yeah. feet on the floor. You mean that? You have to. There's there's no, um, there's no, there's no, like, even, like, super, because, like, I'm, I have wealth. But it's it's not like they never have to work, right? Right. Maybe if we do the right things, but like they still gonna have to do what they want to do, right? And I'll I'll be able to take care of them if they're in a hardship or a bind. And hopefully by the time that they are adults, yeah, they won't have to. But yeah. I still want them to, and they should want to, right? It's like what, what didn't Bill Gates do that shit where he's like he's only giving his kids like a certain amount. I don't know. I don't know like if that. it's Bill Gates, but yeah, I've heard that before. Of billionaire, like, I don't know. My dad retired a millionaire, and um, he uh, he did not. Uh, I, didn't, su- I didn't know this. He did not de- support my uh, education. Really? Yeah, he didn't want to. He didn't want to like pay for like when I was going to community college for like a thousand bucks. He was like, "Nah, I'm good. I'm not helping." I was like, "That's wild." I was like, Is it "Because what the you fuck? were atheist, or was no, no, no." He he told me it was going to help when I was in high school, and then he just. He's bailed out. So bailed out. Wow. Yeah. I'm definitely doing that. Like if I that's that's like, like I've I've been saving for that for since I got in the NFL. Actually, I put away in a, I think it's a five twenty nine is called. Yeah, I think that's the like that. the best thing you can do for your kids, in my opinion, besides like the normal <laughs> the normal parenting stuff is like helping them out with further education if you have to still. Like if, yeah. if it ever gets to the point where college is uh is free, I'll go back. Like I can't afford like real college at this point though. Like yeah, it's just like it's I ridiculous, man. Yeah, it's nuts. Which is just, I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand mm-hmm. how we don't want our citizens educated. Well, <laughs> well I do. Whole, there's I a whole thesis yeah. on capitalism, <laughs> and, uh, well. the underclass, and how you need unskilled yeah. labor. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I don't, I don't um, know how how you could be patriotic and say that you're like. You, like we're the best country in the world and also be like, I don't want anyone to be like healthy or informed smart. or smart. Yeah. It's <laughs> like fucking nuts. I did take, um, luckily my community college had some really great professors and I took some, uh, um, and I did a three year program where I could pay, um, community college fees and get like normal university credits. credits. So All that right. was pretty cool. I was, I was close to finishing, but, uh, it was it was just too expensive. I just couldn't keep going. So um, what was what was your uh, educate secondary education? Uh, so high school teacher um, doing history and literature. Fire. Yeah, it was really good. I still get to do that a little bit on here anyway. So <clears> I, I get I, the, mean, I get the honestly, itch. The interesting shit about today's world is like there isn't a a book or literature or anything that you can't find online. Yeah. So you can you can kind of self. Uh, educate, but it's dangerous because you can the the confirmation bias can seep in, and so you have to have like a there's that I, an authority. I don't say authority figure, but like somebody to bounce your ideas off. Of. I think it's nice to have the varying like you know going to history. I meet a lot of like 
I don't think there's nerdier education professionals than history people. Like I went to, <coughs> I, I took an anthropology course with a lady that had been boots on the ground <laughs> someone, in fucking say, Pakistan. Hold on, someone yeah. say you, could, you turn it into Kyrie if you're free willing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kyrie, I, Well, he went to Duke for like a year or something like that. I thought they have good education. That, that, that is a, that's a good point in, in that joke though. It's like, if you if you go too far yeah. with thinking you know how to seek out like objective truth, yeah. um, and you don't have any like baseline for uh, what truth is or how to how to get to truth, like if you if you have no if you have no reverence for the scientific method, then yeah. your your worldview is going to be mad skewed because then anything goes. Yeah, I tend to agree. Um, <clears throat> I think it's a uh, it's. It's nice to have other voices when you feel sure about yourself to check you, uh, regardless yeah. of what it is, really, like, not just for, like, education and stuff. I, I, what I don't like is that, like, I couldn't self-educate and then go, like, hey, I want to, you know, however you get your, you know, your, your doctorate's degree or whatever, right? Um, say I want to have a PhD in history. Why can't I just, like, be in the field – doing things and like learning and write a thesis without also having all these fucking thousand dollar credits. Like, like mm -hmm. why, why can't this happen? Why? Cause, cause all, all a, a thesis is, is, is you write a, you write a paper um, and you give it to peers within the community and they determine whether or not you're ready for this accreditation. Mm -hmm. And so like, why can't a layman do that? Like, like, I don't know. It's not a lot of people going after history PhDs, I guess. Like, I was going to go for a master's <laughs> and then a PhD, but then I, I ended up right. not being able to afford it. No, I, I, I think I tend to agree um, that it, there should just be like a a standard, like a they call it, a quality control group that <laughs> that just that does that goes through the accreditation process because it's like I said, it's like it's not. There's there's so many social dynamics that goes into school that yeah. have nothing to do with actually learning the information. Like oh, homework, yeah. shit like that is stupid to me. Like if like you should as long as you, like you should hit the requirements of whatever you need to learn. Yeah, and you should be good. But it's just this whole process. <clears throat> school itself is just a weird concept. I really like, like the weird. lecture note taking. Uh, that's your that's your that's your cup. Uh, yeah, I really like so. Um, I'm shit at that. I'm horrible at that. See, I don't like necessarily. So I like the class. I don't necessarily think that the 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 professor or the teacher or whatever should be pushing off like you have to write notes, right? I think it's right. it's nice to enforce like, hey, if note taking helps you, it's called learning modalities, and you kind of learn like how different people like learn. So um, someone might yeah, be more more physical like, learner. So like you might be. That's me. Um, That's me. You might be like, 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 like to interact and like actually talk about it and, and have a conversation. Some people are more like auditory, so they have to like listen to it really, really well. Maybe there mm -hmm. you have a recorder on your desk or whatever. Um, you know, some people are a combination of a bunch of different things. And so I think it's instead of just tuning it for your style, I think it makes a lot of sense to tune it towards each student. And that can take a little bit more work, but I think I think it pays off. I tried this when I taught high school a little bit. I, I had to do hours in the classroom, right? And so I would do like lecture and I was teaching the French Revolution and shit like that. And I was like, okay, um, you know, here's Robespierre. Here's, here's the, you know, the guillotines and all this bullshit. Um, and so we went through it and we were talking and it was like, okay, ask me questions about this because history is a story. It's not this set of facts, right? Like you right. can't just know like, you know, Abraham <laughs> Lincoln did this and this is he stopped slavery in its tracks. Like that's not how it worked at all. There's a He's huge story slavery. about it. We have to go back to like the foundation of the country and talk about it and move forward and talk about his relationship with Frederick Douglass. We have to talk about his relationship with Mary Todd. We have to talk about his relationship mm -hmm. with uh, senators and stuff and people trying to obstruct him on his way to getting this shit done in the Emancipation Proclamation how that well, wasn't see, that's really, why, really that's why shit. like history I'm gonna let you finish but like that's why um, <clears throat> no I was just I, rambling <laughs> no, no no you have, you have a point <clears throat> because the, when I was first dabbling into politics mm -hmm. that, and I, I think I mentioned this before but it's, that's that's what I realized was like there. this is nothing in our political atmosphere or historical atmosphere is a monolith yeah. Everything ties to everything. Yeah. It's 
it all goes together. So to, <clears throat> if you want to understand the Iraq War, you got to go back to this. If you want to understand World War II, you got to go back to this. If you want to understand this. the Iraq and War, it, you got to go back to World War II. <clears throat> That's what I'm saying. You got to go all the way. Boom, 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 boom. And it's just like, oh, you just got to learn history. Yeah, you, you understand where we come from as a, as a human species. Yeah, you need. And why. It's all context. It's <coughs> it's it's really kind of sad. <laughs> this is a whole bunch of people killing people for land and power. Yeah. Like like talking about. It hasn't changed. Like crime, crime in general. Like like we've talked about this before, like like the idea that crime is bad people do a thing and they get caught doing the thing, right? That's like that's like the base the base knowledge of what a crime is, right? And like anybody right. can do a crime, but like there's a reason that like poor people do more crime. <clears throat> yeah. Because they need they don't have a lot of legal yeah. opportunity, right? And so right. uh you extrapolate that, well who's the poorest group of people? It's usually minorities and why are minorities that? And now you go back to the civil rights movement, and you go back to slavery, yeah. you go back to the drug war, you go back to the way we treat the native fucking Americans. Like like yeah. <clears throat> native american communities have crazy high crime and drug rates and yeah. alcoholism and shit. Alcoholism. Way yeah. higher than any other ethnic group. So it's like Yeah. It's like, I grew up in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and oh, yeah, it's so right know. by a reservation, right? Yeah. And so it's what they call the four cor four corners: New Mexico, Arizona, Colorado, and Utah. Or mm -hmm. be Colorado, Utah. I don't know if you were following my my little <laughs> pointy map, but um, and so there's reservations all in the four corners, <clears throat> and they used to tell us to be be careful because the natives drunk drink, uh, drink and drive all the time. Yeah, and like they, they like they had to stop selling. Like they couldn't get mouthwash after a certain time because people were drinking that to get drunk. Yeah, and like that's had alcohol content in it. Mm -hmm. And so it was it was that bad. <clears throat> yeah. And I was like, and I used to think ill of them because that's how they um yeah. that's how they kind of presented it. Was like they they're just drunks. That's what they do. They just drink. And I was like, yeah. damn, those drunks. And then I dug deeper, I was like, Oh, we took their fucking land and they're just <laughs> struggling for just like Independence, they're struggling for identity. Not that you just like, took their land, yeah. It's about identity. We literally took their way of life. Yeah, everything. Like, everything. And and we gave them like what casinos or something like that. Like garbage. Yeah. It's insane. It's insane. Yeah. Which is a capitalist mindset. It's it's just, it's insane. It's an insane thing. That's the one thing I've kind of been pondering on is like the the um the successes of capitalism has kind of blinded people to its critique and to to, yeah. to its like detriment right yeah they always go no like fall. well wouldn't would you rather <clears throat> live here it's like yeah okay i i think we need <coughs> like i think when you develop capitalism is probably a good thing like not for the yeah. people that live there but just for like for like the process of getting to a place where people no longer suffer i think usually um, specifically in a scenario where all the other countries are capitalistic, right? Um, and being global, starting starting at that point in industrialization specifically is like really good for economies and stuff, and it's good mm -hmm. for like the people's well being in general, well -being, like better yeah. better than it used to be, but still not good, right? Because I mean, we had like literal children working on big machineries because because their hands were small. You know what I mean? So like, it's not great. It's just a little bit better than just surviving, and so. Yeah. We've gotten to the point where we don't need to do that anymore. We can we can right. look at our industries and go, okay, well, we could sustain this from like a federal level yeah. without without exploiting like people's bodies for labor and and I, like maybe we're not like a hundred percent there, but we're definitely to a point where we but can see, like do portions of it. That's capitalism's body under the rug. Yeah, is that the exploitation of labor, not just labor, like child labor. Yeah. Like child labor is a big body under the rug of capitalism that everybody just it's over. Yeah. So. <laughs> and the and the uh, making making um like <clears throat> like suffering in wage slavery like a virtue. Like that is that is a gross thing that we have been propagandized into believing that that's like like because you were talking about your mom and you were like yeah I let I let her retire you know. <clears throat> After I got paid, and and then you were like, like you don't want to. I don't like that framing, but I know what you mean. Or sure, whatever. I don't. I don't know how you said it, but basically, like, yeah. basically, like, hey, you can do what you want. And then a couple of years later, you go, don't you want to do anything? She's like, no, I'm good. Yep. And at first, you were like, oh, that's a beautiful poor shot. Oh yeah, this is an ad. Can we get sponsored? Hey, chaos theory. Hey, by chaos theory. The, Sp sponsor the, the brown show. Yeah. If you don't. 
Well, you're giving them you're giving them free publicity right now. But anyway, hey man, reach out. If I don't, if I don't help my my brothers, will I'll fucking day drink every Sunday with you. Fuck yeah! If that's what it takes for a sponsorship, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, let's fucking do it. But uh, and I only got one more of those bottles left. <laughs> I just like the I liked what you said where it was like you had the initial reaction of you're not gonna do anything and then it's like, well why can't she not do anything? Like this is right. like it's, happiness is way more important than like labor. Yeah. Like why but like it t it, t it takes a certain amount of I don't want to toot <coughs> toot my own horn. <coughs> but it takes a certain amount of like self awareness, yeah, societal awareness and um, uh, I think kind heartedness to understand that, to even get to that place to where it's like, you're not a lazy human being for not wanting to do anything. That's not, that's not, a, that has nothing to do with laziness, dog. It has yeah. everything to do with like, I'm not built to wake up at eight in the morning and go punch a ticket and go do labor for somebody. I'm not built like, that's not how I was born. Yeah. I'm, I could, there's no way I could work a regular nine to five. There's no way in hell I would, I would either be homeless or I would find something else. I'd be an entrepreneur, like something. Yeah, yeah. But there's no way I, I could. I'm not built like that. I can't because it's like we have a lot of opinions. One hundred percent. But I, I mean, I mean, I mean, I, I, I remember being in, in the NFL, and you got shit all the time. The thing that I remember, I remember vividly thinking this, vividly, like there's nothing more I hate than getting up in the morning and going to these stupid fucking meetings. Yeah. I was like, this is the most annoying thing. That I've probably ever taken part in, and I hated it with a passion, dog. Like with a passion, I used to sit there with my hoodie on and slunch in my little chair, like. And he used to ask me a question. I used to tell him, "I was like, dog, you can give me, you can give me the playbook on Saturday, and I'll know what to do on Sunday. I don't need to be here. I, I should be able to take care of my body. Rest is an important part, which they still haven't figured out in the NFL. The NBA has. Like, you should, yeah, hundred percent. They have. You should, <laughs> you should let your people sleep in, dog. They should, and then NFL, <clears throat> yeah, sleep in. We start the day at twelve. We go over plays. I don't know why. Work you on your body. I should have like three hours where it's mandated. I have masseuses, masseuse eye, masseuses, masseuses. Is that it? I have no fucking masseuses, massagenists. <laughs> we should have um, we should have cold tub, hot tub trainers, like all, all of that stuff. Three hours. That's the day. We work on plays for an hour. Do that, and then we work on plays, and y'all go home and rest. Like, yeah. there's no reason to stay here and fucking run through plays like we're adults. Like, fuck out of here. But anyway, I, I, I equate that to like working a nine to five. Like, you get up in the morning, <clears throat> not everybody is built like that. Mm -mm. <clears throat> People are forced to, but that's why you get like in trouble for being late. You get in trouble for doing this. You get in yeah. trouble for that. And it's just such a fucking like prison mentality, dog. And it's just not conducive to any kind of creativity. It's not conducive to any kind of um, uh, productive behavior. And and it, that's what it is, a very militaristic mindset. And that, that's that military mindset that is, um, I think, what is, it, what is it in like Brazil? Where it's like, all right, we're going we're gonna to go to lunch. Meet me at 12. Like they might show up 12.30, 12.45, 11.45, like whatever. Like no, there's no like, if you're here and it's disrespectful if you're late, it's not yeah. <clears throat> because it's just like, yo, you show up. This is about the time we're going to have lunch. Or <laughs> it's not, it's not like a dish. It's not seen as like disrespect. Yeah. And like, that's, that makes more sense to me because we have just bought into this um, military mindset that everything has to be like this. And it's just, it's just, it's just a, a stressful, annoying way to live life and it just takes years off your life man like, yeah that. when uh sarah and i got together um i had already planned on buying this house or a house nearby of roughly the same price um and we got together and i'm like you know you don't have to work a shitty job i don't need your money right like i can afford to support us if you want to pursue other things than your, your, you know, your shitty job at Ulta or whatever. Right? right. And it took her a while to like, understand that like, it's okay if she doesn't like do <laughs> like give me money for shit. Like she doesn't have to pay for things. What I want right. out of, out of our relationship is the relationship and, oh. and like, like just helping around the house and stuff, like doing normal stuff like, like that we have to 
do together right. to, to like coexist. But like other than that, like she's an artist and you know that. And so she's been working on her art like almost exclusively for like two years and it's gotten way better. It's, it's, it's way more fulfilling in my opinion. I don't know. A thousand percent. That is one thing that your man's. I'm going to address what you said in chat, uh, white shoes, in a second, but because um, <clears throat> it's a good point. But um, there's one thing that your man's Jordan Peterson got correct. Which was what? Lobsters. No, I'm joking. Lobsters. Uh, well, <laughs> Don't get said, me he, started. Yeah, <laughs> what he said was, yo, there was this, uh, um, I think there was an evolutionary biologist mm -hmm. who was who was talking about his lobster analogy. He's like, he has no idea what he's talking about. Yeah, yeah, like, he doesn't. That's the, not the, how the brains work. don't fucking stop working. By the yeah. way, he said your man's. That was for people that don't know. That was sarcasm. I fucking hate Jordan Peterson. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so Jordan, <laughs> they, 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 they read his whole twelve rules of life or whatever. You should watch that series. And they, and they went chapter by chapter by chapter, and yeah. it was pretty funny. But <clears throat> he said something that was really poignant to relationships, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like, if you're, if you're, if you're in a household. And and you guys are sharing a household, and there's something like the drapes, right? Yeah. That you're that you don't like. If you don't say you don't like the drapes, then that becomes a landmine, right? Boom. And if you don't like the coffee table, that becomes a landmine. You don't like the doormat, that becomes a landmine. Because you guys are both sharing a space, you have to live in it, and so you want to be comfortable in it. And so you should have to you should be able to talk all of this stuff through. And if you don't, it's gonna you're gonna slowly suppress it suppress it suppress it and all these little tiny things that could have been talked about that could have later that could have been addressed but they'll later come up in a way that you didn't even intend them to to come up and i probably articulated that better than he did but you did uh his so his, you, so, his broader point was that uh women do this yeah <laughs> and so that's, yeah. that's, not, that's, not, that's not but my point is in a, in a relationship the communication is fucking imperative so it's like yeah. like little shit right so it's like me and my lady have conversations about like our sex life like how is it like what 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 is it that you need what is it that i need Let's talk about it. like it's, it's not a nothing is taboo if you're sharing like <clears throat> excuse me life with each other like nothing is and you have yeah. to and you have to be cognizant of the things that you enjoy and the things that you don't enjoy if you're like yo i hate when you um snore like yeah. it's a thing it is a thing that you have to address and either get a snore aid or whatever i don't even know how to CPAP. that there you go bam um one of the things that that doesn't bother me but i like to fuck with her about mm -hmm. is like when she's sleeping when she sleeps she goes like this sometimes and then i I tap her on her teeth. <laughs> my, my mouth, my my jaw slacks back, and I have a deviated septum. I snore, and you snore, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I've needed, I, I've needed you receipt. sleep apnea. Yeah, yeah. I've had it since I was a little kid. Um, you, you can get it. Yo, you gotta get that. No, I have. I have a thing. I have a thing. We're okay, bet, yeah, bet, 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 no, bet. I'm fine. Because my my guy had that too, and I was on his head about. It. It's like that's how people. Yeah, they fucking Reggie died. White died because of sleep apnea. Who did? Reggie, Reggie White. White, Reggie White, yeah. greatest, defensive, greatest DN of all defensive time, defensive end, Green Bay Packers, and bam, Titans. Bam, bam. So was he on the Titans? No, no, no I know he's on the Green Bay Packers. Green, anyway, the Green Bay days. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, it's really bad for you. And I didn't know what it was growing up. Like they were just like, you snore a lot, and you know, um, uh, and I have weight on me, which makes it worse. I assume. Yeah. Um, no, it doesn't. No. But uh, but it's always been really bad, so I don't know, I don't know how much it's been affected. But um, so I got one, and it's really nice. Um, uh, so there's, I have there's, a hard time breathing through my it. nose in general, though. Like, you know how they tell you Is breathe through like your nose when you run? Sinus thing? No, it's what it's my septum, the stuff in the middle. Septum, that's what I meant. Yeah, yeah. it's it's it pushes like I can't deviated like deviated septum. I can't really breathe through my nose very very well. I'm pretty. I'm good. I uh... yeah. I got a real thin one. <clears throat> Got a real thin, yeah. tiny nose holes. One of my buddies had that actually, and he he had a sur he had he had a sur he had surgery on it. Yeah, that's supposed to make people's lives a lot better. It can usually yeah, it, sometimes it, it can cure I, sleep apnea. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't. I don't know nothing about noses. So one of my dudes said, um, <laughs> one of my dudes said, uh, what about doing that? And we, were, um, uh, not like the the militaristic aspect yeah. of the workforce yeah and he said uh what about doing that in inner city under resourced uh economic areas what about doing areas? what you think that would be helpful 
kind of like telling them to enjoy their life. And that and that's that's the whole not pitfall under capitalism. Of, yeah, and that's the whole pitfall of society. And yeah. to uh bring it to a broader issue, <clears throat> it's what Stephen A is addressing, right? So to to fill people in, Stephen A. Smith was talking about um what was it? What was his whole point? Um oh, with the whole Colin Kaepernick situation. Yeah. It's showing up with a Kutu Kinte shirt on, right? It's not economically viable, right? Because an employer will probably look down at a Kuta Kinte shirt if he's unaware of the history of Kuta Kinte. So what it's basically teaching is conformity. And that's what capitalism teaches is conformity. And it's slowly dissipating. I remember when um, <clears throat> I first got into the NFL, or even before that, I would go to business meetings and it was ties, it was suits, yeah. it was hard bottoms. <clears throat> and now, it's, it's slowly turning into like when I meet with these CEOs and, I meet and with, joggers and shit. Yeah. They're, they get their there's, there's, slacks. It's real relaxed, but it's slowly dissipating because they're realizing like, what are we doing this for? What is the point? It's a ritual. Be comfortable. Yeah. It's a hundred percent a ritual. Yeah. And as long as we, as long as we're getting the business done that we need done, it fucking matter what you wear. Right. Yeah. Hey, I don't mind and if that, someone wears a suit. I don't like it if they're like, you have to wear a suit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I, I don't, I don't even own any suit. I'm about to get a suit. <clears throat> because I'm going on tour and it's kind of what I'm branding it as. I'm on sure. stage with a suit. It's gonna be dope as fuck. Nice. But coming to Detroit. Um, coming to Detroit. No, we're, we're we're no no no. We're, it's like all East Coast and Southern. I'm just saying. Okay. What would you, you you gonna come to? A, uh, Are you fucking kidding me? That's what I'm talking about. I'd like to hear it. I'd like to hear it. Of course I would come. I'd love to hear. I, it. I, I fucking um, I pimp your shit out all the time. <laughs> good somebody said no disrespect the word is conformance is it conformance conformance i don't i don't think so bro i think it's conformity hold on conformance hold on fam let me, let me uh me. conformance conformance word? another word for conformity we win conformance another word you could, another say, term for you, conformity. Could, you could say both it's whatever so we're so we're but, both correct brother most people say conformity but because conformance not, sounds because stupid well. it does it does sound stupid <laughs> Damn, it definitely does. Well, it's I've never heard of it, so I'm I'm okay with learning new words. Conformance. I'm not. <laughs> is that Don't like change a, um, anything. <laughs> is that like a um uh uh what's that term that people always fuck up? No, no, no it's a, it's a term that always people always fuck up. Um, oh, I'm drawing a blank. Uh, come oh uh, converse. Oh yeah, conversate and converse. Who's conversate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he was a conversate, yeah, yeah. Is that is that is that, is that like? Uh, oh man, my guy said there was a chemical explosion half a mile away from the house. In my whole life, I'm 24. My family and I almost lost our lives at 1:20 a.m. in the morning before Thanksgiving. These big companies are hiding answers. It's all about money. I agree, bro. Yeah, sorry, uh, I, I think I think capitalism in general. You, if you did well-regulated capitalism, I think you could be roughly um, <clears throat> ethical insofar as like how people are treated. Like you can't do overall ethics in any f system. I don't think something's getting exploited even under socialism, in my opinion. Be it the be it, be it the environment or animals or I've, yeah, I've like, thought about this. Yeah, so but much. but capitalism is worse than the other one. So. <laughs> yeah, I, what is what is my 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 old uh, totalitarianism? <laughs> yeah. Egalitarian as we switch it to, right? Um, whatever's better for the gander. Um, the goose gander? Whatever's better for the gander, man. I remember. <laughs> my, so, yeah, a gander is a whole bunch of geese. Okay, yeah. And I remember when Mel Gibson went on that little rant. Do you remember oh, that? boy. Oh, he went on little, little rant. Man. Yeah, yeah okay, he, was yeah. Like, he was like, I hope you get <laughs> raped by a pack of niggers. My stepdad. I don't think you could say that. I'm sorry. My my brother. <laughs> when, when my brother went on. My brother went on Twitter, and he <laughs> was like, he was "Like silly Mel Gibson, we don't run in. We don't run in packs. We run in ganders." <laughs> That's fucking funny. Hey dog, I fucking lost it, bro. <laughs> that was, it was hilarious to me. Mel Gibson, <clears throat> what a fucking no. guy. Yeah, but yo, capitalism <laughs> is like. It's 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 hard to critique because it's been so successful. Like I hate that. Right? It's like a it's, it's both, like a yeah. it's like a really good it's like a really good quarterback at the end of 
the time, right? It's Peyton Manning. It's Peyton Manning. No, <laughs> no, no. It's it really Pey- is. Pey- Capitalism is Peyton Manning. <laughs> because, because guess what happened to the rest of the other fucking teams when Peyton Manning was around? Like, it was Peyton Manning and Tom Brady every single year, yep. right? Yeah. Like, yep. everybody at the top is winning, and there's lots of people at the bottom just waiting. Yep. But, like, yep. oh, man, doesn't it look great when Peyton Manning's doing stuff? And then, you see, the, great- and then you see Peyton late stage. With like, 100 yards passing. Yeah, you see late stage Peyton Manning, and you're like, mm. ooh. Oh yeah. no. Papa Capitalism. John's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I said Peyton Manning being dragged into a Super Bowl yeah. with his remaining. By Vaughn Miller and D- and uh they had Marcus a hell of a Ware. D, yeah. yeah, they had a had a hell of a D. They had a hell of a D. Clip it. Um <laughs> they said clip it. They <laughs> have a hell of a D, man. I had a uh you can't a deny the D. I wanted to um talk about but i forgot what the fuck it was did you see uh, did you see joe biden's bus <laughs> oh my god okay it, what's I'm what's kidding. the whitest what's the whitest tagline you can think of before you don't look it up yet oh don't look it up no, no i've seen that already i've seen it okay his fucking tagline for his campaign is no malarkey i didn't see that <laughs> <laughs> bro i don't know if i can um oh Hold on, is bro. there another category I can be in? There's th- that's like white plus. Can I be just normal white and that's he could be white plus? Oh, Holy oh, fucking bro. garbage, man! Oh, that's pretty bad, bro. It's so bad. Oops. <laughs> Save pictures. There we go. No malarkey. No malarkey. No malarkey. Chat, I'm gonna show this bad, to you. Bro. What the fuck is going on? We are in the worst timeline. This is the guy that's going to beat Trump. No malarkey. No malarkey. I'm, I'm, I'm Who conf- fucking says I, I, malarkey? I get so confused, dog, about why people find it appealing. And I, I can't think of it as any. You know what you should do? Or What's we that? should do? What should we do? We should. Um, I can't find it, so I'm just going to. Joe here, Biden's here, no malarkey. Here are my people. Too. Here's his fucking. No here's his bus. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That shit is awful, bro. It's <laughs> said the most boomer thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. This is God, that is horrible. Horrible. I'm I, I could like I do like the Joe though. The Joe looks real like 2030-ish. You know what I mean? <laughs> With the oh yeah. There like if go. there was a robot running for president, that's that that would be his I like it. Do you remember the Hillary fucking Design with the arrow was so awful. No, I mean, oh, they, they do it with the Biden too. Oh, oh yeah, they do that little Biden. little cute little E with the Biden stuff. So what the fuck man, is malarkey. malarkey, malarkey is like it's like bullshit, isn't it? Yeah, I guess I don't find like I've never heard someone say malarkey like that's a bunch of malarkey. I have never heard that. Yet. I have, I know it happens in like TV shows and stuff, but not in person. And again, again, need Malarkey. I remind you? Meaningless talk nonsense. This, this were the, these were the sweet potatoes I had at Thanksgiving. I've never heard anyone say malarkey in my life. That isn't the most <coughs> ironic thing ever. Awful. It, mean, it means meaningless talk or nonsense. Yep. No malarkey, and that's half his campaign. That's what we should do, though. I want to make a video mm-hmm. about how to vet presidential candidates. How should we do it? Um, we should vet presidential candidates. <laughs> you want to just go on here before the election, like, like when we when because we, when I, they do the I honestly caucus. don't think people understand how because and and I love my mother to death. She's so politically aware. We have like that's we bond over politics. Yeah, like we I I call her and we talk about Democratic debates, Republican issue we talk about this shit right aside but i think she falls victim to it as well as like when you're vetting a presidential candidate you you go towards what you're feeling rather than the actual issues we had a long policy yeah and so we had a long talk and she like i'm i'm going i'm voting for bernie me too right um it makes the most sense to me i look at his policies i look at his his history and i and it makes the most sense to me and so like she was telling me some of her Bernie critiques, right? She 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 liked one of the things she said was uh, she liked Kamala Harris, and I was like, Bernie, 
<coughs> she has one of the worst <coughs> excuse me histories of uh, criminal people? justice yeah it's like she's a cop in the canada she's horrible yeah. and she's like yeah but i like her because she's strong i was like what the fuck does that mean I was, and i asked like what is that what do you mean she's strong and so i typed in kamala harris strong and you know what came up that's part of her yeah uh campaign yeah. slogans is kamala I, harris is strong and I i'm was, like bernadette i know you didn't fall for this dog and she and she looks she's like oh shit, maybe i did and so it's it. like my mother's a very intelligent woman. well it's the she's same people dumb. that were like trump just he's a straight shooter he just talks yeah how he feels yeah. like that's, that was the propaganda that went into his campaign and i think people <clears throat> i think these campaigns actually work and i think oh yeah i think i think if, if i'm a voter and i am but i think if i'm a voter i'm not i don't give a fuck about your campaign I don't care what your YouTube video says or your commercials. None of that shit. That is all propaganda. I'm going straight to your website and I'm looking at your policies. Yeah. And then I'm going straight to your voting history. What is your historical yeah. record about voting on issues that matter? <clears throat> I agree. That's how you vet and presidential candidates. Bernie's got a candidate. badass record. And that's what I've t- I was, what I was telling her. I was like, yo, what, <clears throat> what don't you like about Bernie? <clears throat> she was like, well, he's really old. I'm like, ma. What does that have to do with anything? It has nothing to do. Like, are you, are you want him to win a race? He's not going to win. Like a real race, like a running race, yeah. not going to. No. Uh, he has a pretty nice shot, but it was, it was dude, actually right? better than I thought it would be. It's better than for old nigga. It's not bad, right? Because like, <laughs> what are you expecting him physically to do, right? I need him for four years, like maybe eight, unless there's somebody better that comes along. Yeah. Like, what do you expect him to do physically? Like, sit in a chair and write shit down. Like, he could be healthy enough for that, right? Yep. Or or hire uh, competent people in your cabinet. What else do you want him to do? Well, we need him to replace <clears throat> Ruth Bader Ginsburg. <coughs> That's what I'm saying. That old lady hire is she's, she's killing it. She's hire trying so hard. 100. percent But um, and so we went like we went point. I went point by point with her, yeah. and I was trying to see like what you didn't like about, her. and there wasn't like a substantive point that she didn't like about Bernie. It was yeah. just more of like a feel. And I'm like, you can't vote off of how you feel, man. Like this is the opposite of what you should be doing. And I'm like, so it just gave me the idea of if let's do if, a blind test. That would be, that would be dope. But see, that would be objective, right? Right. right, right. Exactly. These are my policy ideas. And these are all the candidates you, policy you ideas. No names, do. no pictures. Um, they have those, <clears throat> uh, they have that, uh, Oh, setting up that website would be dope as fuck. That well, they they have that test. Um, what test? The, uh, is it the political spectrum? The test? political spectrum test, but the you have to do the expanded question or answers to get the more nuanced answer to get the most accurate thing, the most accurate accurate representation of your political compass. But um, site. I don't know. I, I, mean, I, I think it's just called site. the political compass test. But maybe we should do that at some point. Um. Political compass test. I think that's it. The political compass dot org. Is this all oh, political one? compass? Yep. Somebody, somebody just sent See, it. See, I don't, me. I don't know if this is the same one. Yeah, uh, no, this is political. It compass. is. It is. Um, there was a, there was a lot. There was a better one from, or I side with. Yeah, it was yeah, I, I side this, with. This, I don't think this is an. If economic globalization is inevitable. It should primarily serve humanity rather than interest of trans right, national here. corporations. Let me let me put the who I side would, with. Who would disagree with that? Is my thing. <laughs> um, I think it'd be fun to uh, to try. This that is not what I mean. This is not what I mean. I mean, I mean, I mean, set up a a a literal a blind, like a literal blind. Okay, like yeah, candidate A. These are their policies. Candidate B. These are their policies. And you say, okay, which one I, I'm more aligned with? And then you you click which one you more align with. At the end, it says you should probably vote for. Boom. Yeah, exactly. That's that kind of that's kind of what I like with. Yeah, I think yeah that could be fun. I don't know how to we set can, that we up. Can set, we can set up this website though. Do you have we can do you... ads? We can mad ads on our sound. We can be rolling the dope numbers, man. Hey, this is all nonprofit. This is important for. Uh, I don't mind. On, I don't on, mind on, either on. way. I send it again. Hold on. <clears throat> I side with. Yeah, I, I side with is pretty good. That one I like because it's uh, it just does policy. Have you seen this one? Are you watching my screen? Which one are you doing? I'm not watching uh, my screen. Watch my screen. I selfish. Can't. You have to. You have to. <laughs> you have to do screen share. So fucking selfish. Hold yeah, on. That's true. I'm sorry, man. All right. Ooh, uh, screen. Turn on screen share. Bam. Yeah, I side share with. It. 
Yeah, I, I sent that to you, right? Or did your chat send it to you? Oh, I sent, my chat I sent it. In, I sent it in our chat too. You sent it. You sent it six a uh, second yeah. though. Oh well. Well, shit. It, does this actually like give you uh, candidates afterwards? Yeah, yeah. I can only see your stream Okay, though. this is dope. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. damn. Okay, we're well, okay. Boom. Yeah. Sure. Should the government increase? Yeah, I I always go to other stances. I think if you click that, it'll pop open a larger. Yeah. Mm. See, this is way better. I mm -hmm. like this a lot. Um, okay. So, so I side with is pretty good. I think we could probably. We could this probably is, no, this that. is this is good. We could we could send people to this. Yeah. And just make our own video. Yeah, yeah. I think I think this is a good one. Um, and you you really expand and you get all the questions. You don't just do the like top ones. You do literally yeah, all of them. It. And you put the There's time nuance. in. <clears throat> yeah, you put the time in and uh Oh this is real. Should the president be able to uh uh authorize military force against Al Qaeda with without congressional approval? Right. And I like the other stances Which... there because like sometimes it opens up a situational difference, right? Um Add your own stance. I think I should make the call. <laughs> <laughs> should photo this is ID good. be required to vote? Wow, no. this is dope. Very yeah. extensive. This is the one I used to decide what I was gonna do in uh uh what, twenty sixteen? I'm sending this to my mother. Yeah. She's going to side with Bernie almost certainly. Knowing what I know of of I, she, we Twitter started talking and about we started talking, talking about to her. the things that that she uh that she wanted and I was like, "Yo, Bernie, 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 Bernie." And she's like, oh, "I just don't like him." I'm like, "Bro, that's crazy." You just don't and like I, I I figured it out. A lot of a lot of <laughs> a lot of minorities I can be mm -hmm. question to reparations. Which, what was which his, I, what I was his answer to his 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 answer to the he question? Kinda, he he kind of panders and he basically says, even if I want to push reparations through, it's not going to go through the House or the Senate. Like it's not going to happen. Sure. And so, and so he's like, it's a waste of time almost. And I'm paraphrasing, but this is basically what he says. Mm -hmm. And then he and then he goes to why not create policies that just help minorities? Like that's his <clears throat> that's his goal. And and to me that makes more sense because there's not it's not going to happen. It is not going like there's no like reparations <coughs> will not push through for another 20, 30 years. I because we're it depends on how being, we're talking about reparations, in my opinion. Like, are we talking about just cutting a check to people? Or I don't think about, that's ever gonna pass. And I don't even think that would be productive. Yeah. Did you did you hear um, the um we ever even talked we haven't even talked about I don't think we've talked about reparations. Uh, oh, what was that guy? Now I can't remember his name. Good hair. Um uh, the guy Zach Morris. No. <laughs> Isn't that the guy from fucking Saved by the Bell? Fucking right. No, no, no! The black guy, uh, have philosophy. Have you seen Lisa Turtle lately? Holy no. shit! No, no, the guy, the guy with back, the big man. hair. He's got like he's got a split in his teeth, like. And he's Cornell like, West. Cornell West. Thank you so much. It was driving <laughs> he's me nuts. The greatest thinker. He's the greatest modern thinker in so, my opinion. So he has a good take on um, reparations. Um, it's part of his, um, and it's not let's cut a check to black folks. Um, it's it it's let's invest in minority communities let's invest in right in infrastructure in education in um, and I, I didn't even know his take on reparations but yeah. that's my take it's never like, i think no, that's the best a, one cutting a eighty thousand dollar check to every person that's black in america would be detrimental <coughs> it would be stupid as fuck it would i be, think it just feeds into capitalism 100 percent. it'd be dumb as but hell. I, I like so, the idea of lifting up the entire community unto itself thousand, and also um thousand. i mean we're a little bit past uh, legislatively but like there's a lot of a lot of communities that you know redlining and stuff like that and uh mm -hmm. and in the housing crisis and not and and uh, you know setting up fucking projects and shit like that i think mm -hmm. i think you could address that as well and mm -hmm. like and work on like making sure we get really affordable loans to certain communities in places oh, where we can prove redlining was <laughs> which is most oh, places and um, um. I, th uh, I think that's that's food, the best food way to desert. Do. There's food deserts in those communities, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. setting up good grocery stores and local local uh, produce, like stuff like that. A hundred percent, all of that stuff. It'll change the mindset of the community because now it's not like I need. I mean, now it's not like I want. I mean, yes, now it's not I need. It's I want. Oh, so right? like and that, and it'll take a few generations. It'll take a few generations to change the mindset, but the mindset will change. And. And going with that, I think stopping <clears throat> the drug war at the same exact time, I think you could breed some goodwill in a community where the community doesn't 
and not just the black community. I mean, just all minority communities and, and just poor people in general. Any this community, would help, this would help everybody. But like, drugs are used across the board. Of at course, the same rate. yeah, absolutely. And um, I, I, I think, I think this would breed goodwill from the lower class towards the system in general. Like, hey, we're we're done sy- systematically fucking you, okay? We're right. this is we're we're taking steps forward and like be part of the process like go out and vote and and talk to people and be, be become mm-hmm. part of the conversation so that we can learn how better to address your needs and I think I, I think if we took an honest approach to it I think I think you could make this work. You could, but it would. That's why I say it would take a couple generations. It one hundred percent take. Um, <clears throat> for example, like my 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 grandfather right now, he he has cancer and he's like getting over, it. but he's on the brink, right? We yeah. all know that. Um, uh, but he has so much, um, he's very hesitant to go to the doctor. He has so much reservations about going to the doctor because in his generation, they were doing Tuskegee, Tuskegee experiments on, on black folks. <laughs> Fuck yeah. They grew up, they, they grew up in an era where like, you don't trust those white folks. Like you don't go to the doctor. Yeah. And so that, that That's bled into my man. father. Right, my father was like that, and I don't worry about them. And my brother, and I don't know. Luckily, <coughs> this happened. My brother had asthma growing up. Bro. Mm-hmm. They had him on steroids. He almost died once. My my father got him on some herbal teas, <clears throat> and it slowly went away. I don't know if it's because of the steroids or the tea. Right, sure. I lean towards the steroid. <laughs> but my father was convinced that the steroids made him worse. <laughs> And so, well, there's anti inflammatories like, and some herbs and stuff. So, 100%. And so, and so, and I, I, I would have to run into, I it don't was know. Probably both. <clears throat> but they were, com- yeah, 100%, right? They, but they're convinced that doctors trying to kill us, right? The buck, the buck stops here. That's some no malarkey shit, right? The yeah. Buck stopped with, <laughs> the buck stopped with me because um, I found a methodology that wasn't necessarily predicated off of race, right? Now, Mind you, there might be bad doctors, but there's good doctors and there's middle of the line doctors, yeah. right? And you, so you have to judge it accordingly. You can't judge the system as a whole, but that is from the lineage of mistrust. And so what they're going to have to do is try to repair that mistrust, but they would have to acknowledge it first, right? Which I think they have a hard time doing. You have these fuckers in Congress. Like, like I look at these impeachment hearings and I'm looking at who's running the country and I'm like, yo... These people are so fucking disconnected from reality and yeah. disconnected from like the average American. It's insanity. It's like really insanity. Like if if you if you look at um, <clears throat> how marijuana is still a Schedule One drug, that's fucking. How the wild. fuck is that a thing? How is that a thing? How are we still pretending like heroin is is on the same fucking schedule? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so if you crack, so if you look at the 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 seats, the people that are sitting in those seats. Like those fuckers gotta go. Like they gotta die off. They like gotta go. I don't Boomers. see any other. I don't see any other remedy other than like you have to leave because your ideology is so. Not only is it in the past, but it's tied to corporate money. It's tied to 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 to, to debts you owe or whatever the case may be. You yeah. selling your soul, and people are paying the price for it. I think when you and I are in our fifties, we're gonna see some good ass ideas in Congress. I hope so. Oh, so like AOC, like like she's like to me like the new generation. Yeah, she's further <laughs> left than I am, which is like <coughs> really, yeah, only a little, only, <laughs> only in that like she wants socialism like soon, right? I just don't think it's feasible necessarily as quickly, but um, it's already here. <laughs> well, no, I know, but I mean in the way she wants to implement it, I don't. Think, what do you mean by soon? What do you mean by soon? Uh, so I don't think <clears throat> socialism in in a broad capacity, um. Is is viable until we can manage scarcity. Scarcity. Of- so scarcity of of a lot of things. So, um, specifically like food <clears throat> and and shelter and healthcare and stuff like that. So um, that's just a redistribution, though. That's not. It's not a scarcity. That's like a, a, well, sh- a an actual sure. scarcity. And, like then, there's, and then there's, labor. There's and a then... scarcity of of Gucci belts, right? Sure, but just them. just just um, you know. Uh, <clears throat> You have to get to a certain point of automation, so you don't need labor, so you're not exploiting people. And this, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm for like let's take a step toward this. I just don't know that it's going to happen in my lifetime. I'd like it to, but I don't know that's going to happen in my lifetime. So I'm more of a like let's do a mixed system so that we can move away from the mixed system when I die. You know what I mean? Because like it's probably going to be a thing until I'm gone. Um, yeah. And and so, but, but I think that's that would be a beautiful thing. 
Absolutely. Long term, I agree with like anarcho uh, <clears throat> communists, like long term. Like I think that's probably yeah. an ideal situation where we don't have stratification from a social perspective or a financial perspective. I mean, Everyone the interesting thing is their own shit. conservative Christians agree with that as well. Uh, yeah. They do. So if you look at what they when they die, yeah, what is the what system want. that they want to live in? I've literally exactly. made this argument against Christians. They're like, no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> but that's God, though. It's special pleading and it's a fallacy, but it makes sense. But like, it's like, it's like my man who lives with me a swag is like, <clears throat> why not try to make heaven on earth? Yeah, right? That's what he always says. He's a theist, but not in the way. I think he's more like a pantheist, right? He believes the universe is God. Yeah. But that's what he's always saying. He's like, he's always trying to make heaven on earth. He's like, whatever people... <clears throat> think heaven is like let's just bring that here economically that's exactly what he's talking about and that's exactly what yep. you're talking about they agree but they just don't want to see it it's and oh, that's, yeah, that's because, a, like, okay. such a everybody in heaven business. has a has a mansion and a garden <clears throat> wouldn't it be mm-hmm. cool if 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 we pushed housing with home gardens in it that would be fire actually. you know what i'm saying like like the idea yeah, of yeah, like yeah. urban right. gardening is a thing, especially in Michigan, like Detroit, they're starting right. to terraform like tops of old buildings and shit um, and like turn them into farming places. Um, uh, so that because Detroit is kind of a food desert in that you can't grow anything inside mm-hmm. of it, even though we have all this fucking space because all the buildings fell over. So there's people right. moving into these communities, mowing shit, planting seeds and turning right. it into something fucking dope. And, and um, yeah, I, I it, I don't know. I think we need to move towards a more sustainable way of life that might include digging our hands into the dirt every once in a while. Kind of, I don't know if you, um, how much history did you do when you went to college and stuff? I don't, I don't know how I much. Like, I did like 13 history, bro. Okay. So, um, uh, Thomas Jefferson had this idea of like. <laughs> how do you even quantify that? What does that even mean? 13, 13. Well, I knew you were bullshitting. So, it's just like, okay. Uh, so, uh, it was, well, I guess to the level of which. Um, you did history classes because I took philosophy classes, but I didn't take a lot of them, so I didn't know how much it was intertwined. But um, it's it's it's, it's loosely yeah. Like you yeah, probably did the, you probably did like Plato and Socrates and <laughs> shit like that. I think that's what it is. So it's philosophy is like the branch, right, and yeah. or the the root, and then history and science branch off. I think that's probably true as well. Um, yeah. yeah, philosophy is basically the beginning of most disciplines, um, mm-hmm. including math. But uh. So, um, Thomas Jefferson, uh, not a great fella, but his, I, his idea, um, on what the best way to structure the country would be was, uh, one of the, um, the agrarian, uh, society where everybody was, a was, a like he, he vastly underestimated the population that this country would have. But, um, <clears throat> his idea was like the most virtuous life you can live is like, you have a little bit of land, you have a farm and you make what you, you, you basically grow what you're going to eat. And then sell the excess, like if you if you have any of it, like and that was like a noble life to him. I think there's an aspect of that, specifically the having your own garden and shit, that I I think like makes a lot of sense moving forward, from a, just just from a, practical standpoint. I think it makes a lot of sense to incentivize people growing their own food in house as a nutritional thing, but also as a way to like, you know lower lower hunger in just general um whether it's from a community standpoint because not everybody can grow shit um not everybody has the time for that but moving away from this 40-hour work week and moving towards this like community driven thing i i don't know i think it could be i think it could be nice and um you know people in the desert can't necessarily do this shit but uh yeah no, you know, where, where, where you where you can do it i think i think um uh you know incentivizing it in some way or just maybe maybe culturally going like incentivizing farming uh, already not, do far- not even farming just like literally like i have a backyard and just growing shit in it and just like like incentivizing the value in some places though it's a, it's that's what i'm saying like we, we we fucking outlaw it and i don't know why what's the reason though like right so what is the re- like probably because it undercuts farmers like so urban urban farming <laughs> yeah right so urban farming <laughs> undercuts you're not farms. you're not going to the store to buy shit but I mean, how how can you grow it in excess or like mass That's what to, I'm saying. to actually impact well, because, the market? Because I only need so many tomatoes, right? And if I'm not buying the tomatoes, then I'm growing them. And but you, um, right? Okay, so I mean, that's that's fine. But like, not yeah. everybody's gonna farm, right? I know. But I, if it, you have three hundred million people farming, 
then you wouldn't need farmers. But how? What are the odds of three hundred people? Exactly. Million people and so I just farm? think I think it'd be nice if culturally speaking, like the home garden was was something that we we start moving towards, especially from like a because we were talking like vegans are probably right. It's probably mm-hmm. good to start seeding that in our culture. I can't move towards a more ethical thing, even though you and I don't yeah. care enough to do it fully. Um, and it sounds like a pain in the asshole. Uh, I don't know. Just like from a cultural perspective, um, I think it makes a lot of sense. But uh, it's not something I could necessarily push on anybody. I just think it sounds nice. Yeah, I don't know if I'm on board 100%. Yeah. It, I mean, it, may, it, <coughs> excuse me, it makes sense <coughs> as we – my lady brought me food. Oh, what an angel. What kind is it? it wh- what an angel. It is actually – what is this, babe? What is this? Jake Jackson, not me. Sasha Jake Benedict and woo. She made eggs, Benny. Just she swa- She fl- No, she ordered it. Oh, okay. All right. Never mind. Credit gone. But Credit very gone. nice. <laughs> very nice of her to bring it. I thought she was just like, <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna make some eggs fucking better, hollandaise right? sauce on the. Just you know. That's just not easy. How do you for knowing eggs, Benny? They have holiday. Bro, I told you. Very cultured you are, brother. I am. I, come on, man. I got some. I got some stuff in this well. I can make hollandaise <laughs> sauce. You ever had it? Just kidding. You're eating it right now. Yeah, I'm about to say, man. <laughs> I just gave you props for knowing what it was, dude. It's so good. <clears throat> it's bad for you though. It's not very good for you. <laughs> but you're you're day drinking and shit. You're too fucking. Black. Look at you <laughs> eating your going, eggs, Benedict, and drinking wine, your tenet, fucking red t- wine. Ten in the morning, I'm drinking wine, dog. <laughs> Actually, it's a, it I think it's 11 now. Yep. It's 11 for you. Are you on uh, Central or Eastern? Eastern. You're on Central, right? I'm on Central, yeah. That means the the football game starts soon. Yay, football. Hour. That's why I like the Sunday service, man. The Sunday service is... Yeah, it's a nice lead-in. It's a nice lead-in to the day, especially if you're drinking. Are you, are you going to drink with me? Uh, <coughs> I don't know. Do you want to drink together? We should. We should hang out soon. Dude, you gotta come up here We're in the summertime. Out now, brother. We, you gotta come up here in the summertime, though. It's actually super. I nice. probably won't be going to Saginaw in the summertime. No, 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 but, not Saginaw. Fuck Saginaw. No, 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 no. no. I'll take but you. I remember up we north. talked about this before. Is that they have some great golf courses in Michigan, don't they? Yeah. Yep. They do the the Thanks. the Buick. They used to do the Buick Open. I don't know. Tiger Woods won it a billion I see, times. Like, I don't know. I see like I see some like random fucking uh, commercial about Michigan golf courses. Yeah, they're they're great. Yeah, and no, I heard it's amazing. Mm-hmm. I suck at golfing. I'm dog shit. So it's, it's 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 I ain't gonna lie, it's elitist. Yeah, it's, fun. I, it's, it's super elitist. I don't even have clubs. I, I went. So my first time playing golf, I was um, <clears throat> a junior in college, mm-hmm. and my guy, he was like he's like a high school golfer. He was like he was like he's a black dude too. He was like he was like the man. He, he was like yo, you gotta come. For a year, he's trying to. Relate. It's fucking lame. Stop asking me this stupid shit. I'm not going <laughs> golfing with you. It's stupid. He's like, bro, you gotta come in. And then one day, <clears throat> I was in college. <clears throat> and I was smoking weed, and I and the master, the 2007 Masters was on. Okay. And and I was looking at. It, I was like, yo, aesthetically, it was. Me- I was like, I was drawn in. I was like, it was a beautiful course. Like I don't know if you've seen the Masters. I have, yeah. And it's a horrible fucking name for a golf tournament but um <laughs> i'd never considered that yeah and it's but, but they're hella fucking racist too those dudes like they don't even let for for a long time i don't know if they do now <coughs> but um they don't let women on the golf course either for a while mm-hmm. on that on that course oh, there's some courses that don't allow and women shit. Yeah. yeah it's stupid shit but uh anyway the 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 aesthetically pleasing view of it oh, drew me in i was like yo this is insane it looked beautiful the and so grass I hit him is up. like nice. It's like it's the best. Uh, who's a George Carlin that always said like golf courses are such a waste of fucking water, but he's right because you got to yeah. water the shit out of it. But so I went and I uh, no, no so so I called him. I was like, "Yo, take me golfing. This shit is <coughs> shit looks amazing." So like we like like two days later we went on some golf course. Yeah. And I like I caught the what they call a golf bug, and so what we it was, it was an illegal benefit NCAA. Um. Uh, there was some there was some golf attendant dude that allowed us on, and he was like, "Yo, whenever you come, just just come. You good?" And so I was just going Ooh, for free. So st- I went like 
three golf, weeks in a row. Golf were your crab legs. <laughs> so I'm, with like, I'm with like three weeks in a row, dog. And I absolutely fell in love with the sport. And it's such an amazing sport, but I realized why it's an elitist sport. It's an elitist sport because it costs money. It's like oh, really expensive. Yeah. You have to get golf clubs, right? You have to. Um, the balls, the shoes. The, the balls, the shoes. The apparel. The course. The course. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to play on a good golf course, it's going to cost like 50, 60 bucks yeah. a pop. And if you want to play on a really, really good golf course, it's like 80, 120, right? And so growing up, I, I didn't even swing a golf club until I was a junior in college what 19 yeah. 20 years old and so but i fell in love with it and they say the best business deals are done on a golf course <clears throat> um it's kind of true like i've done a lot of business on the golf course but it's like it's like this elitist like you're kind of oh you golf yeah you golf it's a Yo, it's a meet me, meet it's me a on the green sir. men's club and you raise your pinky but you fucking yeah, yeah. it's hella whack too you're kind of out like, there yeah, just like the the fucking the dress code, yeah. corny. It's all, the whole shit is just it's just all like I don't like the light. aesthetic at all. Yeah, it's all like it's all like you don't like that. No, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful. No, I like the I like the nature aesthetic. I don't like the the like the apparel, <laughs> the and, like wearing the fucking shoes and the in the khakis. I, I, I got some I got some fly gear though for. The I'm golf sure thing. you have a lot of style. I grew up with white people <laughs> golfing. They be hella corny, right? Yeah. Uh, who who who's like the um? What's his name? The guy that wears orange all the time, Rory McIlroy. No, no, no. He, oh. he kind of like he does it. He overdoes it. Uh, buddy, buddy, like the big strong hub dude. Um, I don't know. Like like Brooks golfer. Some shit. Buddy. Name? <clears throat> golfer buddy. Buddy Gardner. Name? I don't know. Brooks Kopika. Yeah, you go. Brooks oh, Kopeka. Brooks. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was Kupka. I don't Kepka, know. Whatever. I don't know how to say it. How do you say it? It, it reads Kapika in my head. Quo, quo, Kepka. Kepka. Okay, pr- pr- pronounced Kepka. Kepka. Yeah, yeah Kepka. Yeah. See yeah. good. See if uh, Brooks Kepka. See a good. Uh... Kepka. Yeah. He's, okay. he, I mean, he, he's just he a polo. Puts, he puts it together well. He puts it together. I mean, you can't. It's, it's all. That's all they. I, the polo. Well, he puts it together well. He, he kind of. He, like, yeah, he's in shape. So like, nice. Yeah. He'd be nice. Like some of these dudes. Nike. The little oh, Nike hat. Yeah, he'd be doing his thing. <coughs> Bobby clean. Matter I feel of fact, like Tiger Woods used to look good, but am I nuts? No, he looks. No, like he does, shirt. but uh, he wears that sweater though. Uh, he, he has his he has his moments where he's clean. I like the red the the red Nike. He brought style into it. I ain't gonna lie, he the, brought style. The red Nike t shirt that's also a turtleneck was that that look when he won the Masters. I'm trying. To Probably that about. year. He Which, always wears red <coughs> on Sundays. Uh, on Sunday, this called, look called right here. Red. You know what I would do to troll him? Let me see. Yeah, I'll copy it. Send it. You send it to chat? Yeah, I'm going to send it to your Discord chat. All right. That look right there. Incoming. It's ba- it's basically like Nike Under Armour. Oh, I, I scrolled up to your sweet potato soup. Fuck that, man. That is... <laughs> don't even don't even say that was mine. She she literally, out of the bag, hey, dumped yeah. like a little bit of brown sugar in it. It was <laughs> awful. Yeah, that's a good look. Hey, he clean. He clean with it. Yeah. I like it. That was that was like the first like all right let's let's bring some style into this. Game. You know I, mean? I just remember people like like there was a bunch of those golf purists who were like I don't like his fist pumps <laughs> like what yeah, the fuck this is the only reason I'm watching this shit but I, dude but what that's, are you that's, what, that's what I'm saying but like that's the one thing I, to, even though like Tiger's Loki white <laughs> the one thing about him he's not like, Loki <laughs> white he's very he's white him, not Loki not like, yeah. <laughs> The one thing that I like about him is he has elevated golf. And even if you like him or don't like him, because. Yeah. He definitely elevated golf. Like, there's 100%. There's no question. Every time, even to this day, dog, if he's in the, the last group or he's in the running to win, People turn in. the ratings go through the roof. Yep. He's, he's encapsulating for whatever reason. I don't know if it's because. Uh, he, he's got that Ken Griffey shit. You know, um, yeah, just you watch know how Ken Griffey just ha- he has that sweet ass swing. It just looks fucking nice when he, even if he doesn't get a yeah. hit, it just looks nice. I agree. The way he I just agree. swings a club is just nice. I'm it's like fan, watching like, Michael shoot shoot the ball, and he has that little flick, and his I'm thumb not, was out, and his fingers were all it. oh yeah. The after um after he won the Masters <clears throat> this last time, mm-hmm. and nobody expected him to, but he won. 
He went and took a whole bunch of pictures with Trump and shit. Of course he did. That shit wild, dog. He's on That's that, so wild. He's on the Kanye shit. I don't know if he totally is. Is he a billionaire yet? He made a lot of money. Uh, He should be. Tiger Woods' no, he had net, worth. To his net worth has got to be nuts. It's got to be, be up close. there. 1.5 billion. God. Wait, damn. his total career earnings is 1.5 billion. His current net worth is 800 million. That's crazy. So much rep. You do not need that much money. <clears throat> That's crazy. At least he at least a lot of it was winnings though. Like it's not, it should be endorsements, too. Most I well, yeah, like just like LeBron most of his money is in endorsements and shit. Just like mm. That Nike deal was nuts. Was it like I a, mean, ninety nine million dollars and seventeen years old. A lifetime <laughs> Nike deal, ninety nine million. That's fucking crazy. No, the, life, the lifetime was was after. First one was ninety something. Was it? But even then, geez, I don't yeah, know. At eighteen years old at ninety million dollars. Dude, you don't give me that money. I, I'm Lebron. <clears throat> Lebron is so put together. I'm surprised. That's the one thing that's like, <clears throat> when I look back at Lebron's career, it's like. He should have imploded. <laughs> like, <laughs> like the, the fact that he nothing. is a man that like he has a family, he <laughs> seems stable, he hasn't had any controversies. Like, it holy insane. shit, it is insane. Like, either they have like a great team to shield that shit, or he's really. Well, he does have. Real... Uh, oh, what's what's the oh Carter Mav, Mav, Carter. Mav Carter? Yeah, Mav Carter. Yeah. Um, I mean, I wonder if there's any like like a book's gonna come out and it's like, yeah, LeBron James was a fucking serial killer his whole career. Like, <laughs> there's gotta be something, right? He can't be like, I and see, and see, maybe this might just this is my cynicism. Yeah, I don't trust anybody who don't got no dirt. That's what I'm saying. Like, he's so fucking clean. Like, I, I feel like he's like, I don't know. There's gotta be something going on there. Gotta. Be I don't know, dog. And and it could be just my like, no, you just. Fucked up in the head. Yeah. That could be it could be the case, bro. But I'm it's cynical. Like, I don't trust, like, come on, dog. Like, you ain't never done nothing illegal. Like nothing. Nothing. That's it's I, come on. I don't know. Yo, I'm I, I'm it, emailing this to myself. What do you think? <coughs> it has nothing to do with what we're talking about. <laughs> but it's the funniest shit ever, dog. It's this lady that did this TED talk. Okay. And she fucking punched herself to make up some kind of point. <laughs> Why? I don't know, man. Did you read that article I sent you about white people food in this chat? I didn't read it, but I saw it. You should. It's it's actually it's actually pretty good. Okay, here we go. The 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 lady's name is Becky and everything. It's nuts. It's really yeah. <laughs> it's funny. <coughs> Railcast. Right, what 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 uh what charity are you talking about, Railcast? In my chat. Here, bro. I'm putting it in the chat. This shit is the funniest. <laughs> we'll play it at the same time. Okay. <clears throat> uh oh, is this gonna open my Gmail? Hold on. Did you not? Can you not do that? Oh man. Oh no 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 no. You gave me. Uh, never mind. Uh, no, what did I give you? You didn't give me the link. You gave me the link to your Gmail thing, and so I can't open mm. it because I don't have your password. You can give me your Gmail well, password if you want, though. We can be that tight if you yeah, want. Yeah, man, we'll do, we'll do that. <laughs> we'll do that. My bad. Here it goes. Uh, like wherever the video just takes us. Relax, bro. Hey, you relax. You know what looks really comfortable? Your headphones. Are those comfy? Oh my god! They're like little satin pillows for your ears, bro. It's like I don't even be knowing that they on. Until you mentioned it, I didn't even know that I had. I should probably get some of those. I, I keep. They're really they're not that. They're like one fifty. Yeah, they're not that bad. That, yeah. They're not that bad. They're they're like. What kind are they? Like Sony or? Um. Here. I can't hear you. So. <laughs> DT DT nine nine O Pro. Just type that in right. with the headphones and. The internet shout. DT99. What is what is this brand? Bayer Dynamic? Yeah. How much are they? Uh, 119 or so. 164 on Amazon. Hmm. Might have to get some. Please do. Here. Oh, it's coming, bro. It's at 150. Oh, okay. Flex, isn't it? It's not a flex, man. 
It's a. Uh, wait, are they a flex? Why is that a flex? <clears throat> they're for music. They're for music people. That makes sense. But this Says is a stream. I know, I but, but they say it. like it's not. It's not surprising that these are like considered. I got something that I... by many a classic pair of cans for audio producers and music lovers alike. Yeah, I got something that I knew that was gonna. I needed like if it's all in my ear, like because like those are studs that you have on. Yeah. They start to hurt my ear after a while. I got really um, used to it editing, but yeah, I think I want to move away from them now. Yeah, these are like it's so comfy, dog. Like I could yeah. do this. <laughs> 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 but it should not, it should not send you my Gmail. What the fuck? Yeah. Hold on, let me try it now. If you just open the video that, and then go to that page and then just, instead of doing it from your email. But it says download, so I got to download it. Did you download the video? That's weird. It was already in my, um, I know, um, I always open Jake's files. desktop is oh. organized, is it? Is my desktop uh, organized? I guess it's kind of organized. How do you copy a... Learning to computer. I'm learning to computer with Jake. Jacob. Oh man. If you, if, you, if, you, if your lady gets mad at you, she's quite... No. No. She should. She'll call me Jake instead of babe or something. Ooh, that's how you know it's like. I know my, my lady, she never calls me Arian. Yeah. Never. Is it just babe or what do you... I think well, you, you call her babe, right? I call her babe, yo, cheese, Ray. Cheese, cheese. Is, that, is, that, like, is that like your cute love? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. That sounds that sounds corny. You know what I like? You know what I like? <laughs> you're you're corny as shit. That's good. That's a good thing. You're fucking corny, dude. You know what I like, man? You're corny, man. This you is are. the fucking. Oh, my chat is on it, dog. What the fuck? Oh, they, they, they found the video on YouTube, and I didn't but say. It. That's insane. That's a wild place. They're really good at that shit. That's Woman crazy. punches herself during speech. <coughs> Let me know when it's up. Okay. Whoa, this is Ethan, very Ethan, holy shit. Good catch, Ethan. Do you want me to share screen with you or what? Or do you just want to play at no, the same time? We just play at the same time. All right. I had, had the actual fucking... Yeah. You can count me down. We'll go on three, two, one, I'll go. To the good, my... All right, here we go. Ooh, turn it up. This shit is fucking hilarious, dog. <laughs> oh, my bad. Hold on. Here we go. All right. Ready? Yep. All right. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> this is like 1992 I, I, I wedding. I, mean, I don't know about that shit. Immense. If I place your hand under an aesthetics, your brain will actually feel the scratching. You will actually feel it. So just think about the violence being produced every day, everything you watch. <laughs> what the fuck? Think about that. Think about that. Think about that. What am I? It makes you. Why did she fall? What the fuck? Part of it. it makes you more susceptible to violence. I'm not watching the rest of that, man. Does she keep? Does she do it again? I don't know. Man. I kind of gotta know. And keep their arm stretched out, no matter what the difficulties are, and say, "I." Want you. No, she doesn't. That's the worst I'm TED talk ever. Because of you. Is that it? Why? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Think about that. Think what? She that... punch herself the fuck out. It's like a, one of those attention getters where you just. Yeah, maybe I don't know. That's not good. I don't. I want like she didn't run that by nobody. <laughs> I'm not. She doesn't have anybody in her sure house should, going. I'm not sure you should do that right there. That's that's probably not it. You can make a point else else elsewhere. You need a no man. That's what you need. You need somebody <laughs> to be like. Oh, that, that's not it. Oh, I got that's no man. It's I got no man. I got. But it, it like it becomes a, a so much of a no man that it's like. Are you hating on me, though? Like, <laughs> <laughs> See, that's different. <laughs> We don't need a hater. We need somebody to be like, hey, by the way. That's why. Like, how do you be objective but not yeah. like, hey. Yeah, that's funny. Dude, I'm jealous of your breakfast. It's not. It's not bad. I should make some eggs, Benedict, now. I know you how know to they make don't tell you about growing beers. You get food in it? No. You, like Sometimes like, I'll go like this. Yeah. I'll bite some of it. Yeah. I got to keep it. I shaved recently, so it's not. 
My my hair grows all fucking weird, <clears> but you just gotta let it go, man. Let it flow. I did for a little while, and it got. Like, That's why I this I, side um, gets puffy. Just one side. Just the one side, because it grows sideways instead of down. Like this side goes down, and this side grows back. It's really weird. That's odd as fuck. I um I decided to grow my hair out because I was like, you know what? I don't know what I really look like. Like how I was intended to look. I don't know intended, like if somebody was pulling sure, the strings. Sure, but like, just like naturally just like Yeah, if I was just how like it a, grows. If I was a nomad and I was out here <laughs> no, killing carcasses. Man. You know what I mean? I was out here killing carcasses. I don't think you should kill them. kill killing car they're already carcass. They're already dead. Okay, Mr. Smart Guy. <laughs> All right, Mr. Smart Guy. No, no, All right, te- are already technically dead. they're already dead. Okay, bro. You fucking genius. Yeah. No, uh, I see. What now you mean, I, don't, I don't know. Living I, off I the land. Like, yeah, if I was living off the land, <laughs> eating carcasses, <clears throat> I don't know how I would look. Like I'm, sure. I, I've curated myself to look like the culture that I'm from. That's fair. And so, like, I've always had a nice little edge up, right? Edge ups to me. This is a topic that doesn't get talked about enough. You and I have talked about this very briefly, and I was like, right. this is not part of my culture. So, 100%. So, like, at Supercuts, when you go. So I don't go to Supercuts, but thank you. you. <laughs> so we, used to, so we used to make fun of cats, right? Fuck. I'd be like, yo, nigga, you, you get you get. <laughs> That's so fucking <laughs> real, though. Oh, no, so like, many people 100%. go to Supercuts. 100%. We used to be like, yo, like, I, bet you, I, bet you, I bet you pay taxes with your, with your haircut, right? You probably pay taxes with your. Like, we don't, like, so if you go to a haircut place, then it's. Eight ninety nine, like there's no, yeah. that's not the barbershop. The barbershop was like, yo, you pay twelve dollars or whatever, the twenty dollars or twenty five, yeah. right? Whatever the case yeah. may be. That's no funny. Taxes on your fucking. But anyway, so like, black folks, and I've never really seen this <coughs> too much with white folks. It's like <coughs> the edge ups. Yeah, that's not a thing. Be crispy, right? Like super <laughs> crispy. And yeah. so, what I think I've done to my hairline is I've actually pushed it back to what I want it to be. Okay. It's not my natural hairline. Like I remember I used to have like a widow's peak as a kid, but I used to edge it up. So like it went away. And so like I don't really have a widow's peak anymore. No, I got a I got a fucking widow's peak, man. That's this is what I got. Definitely. Since I've been 18 years old, I just had this hairline and it's not going away. I haven't lost it. My brother's 3 years younger and he's bald. Is yours creeping back or is that no, about it's, where? This is where it's at. This is Are you in denial or no? Not yet. I will be. My my dad also had a hairline like this until he was about forty something, and then he started losing it. So uh, if I do, I'm just gonna genet- go bald beard. It's good. It's a good look. Well, here's a quick <coughs> genetic factoid. <coughs> Excuse me. Your hairline, uh, your hairline genes doesn't come from your father. It comes from your mother. Oh, that's good. She has good. She has good hair in her family, minus her me brother. Too. Her brother had shitty hair. My pops just now starting to lose, but he filling in with the Beijing. You know what the Beijing is? I do not know what the Beijing is. You don't know what the Beijing is? Let me learn you. <laughs> let, me, let me learn you. You saw bro. my Thanksgiving dinner, okay? Yeah. <laughs> that shit was. <laughs> hey, bro, that shit is a cry. It was. I, I was so I mad. I was, so, I was like livid, and I was angry texting everybody in that chat. I couldn't. I don't know. It was a oh, hold on. What, what was your shorty saying? <laughs> she was she was sitting there with me, like agreeing. It was funny. B-E-I, there it goes. Because we were trying not to let everybody know that we were flaming, you know, talking shit. So, nah, you got to. There we go. Here we go. Uh, can you look at my screen? Or yeah. No? yeah. You, as long yeah. as you, well, you got to press share, but yeah. Well, <clears throat> I do. Cut me off. Hold on. There we go. Uh, screen. You got to make it small before turn we off. shoot. Yeah, turn Bam. on screen. Yeah. Now. Okay, Beijing hair. The Beijing. <clears throat> B- wait, wait, okay, so it's B-I-G-E-N, but pronounced Beijing. Wait, is that where they fucking, like, like, like uh, paint yeah, on your man. head? Yeah, man. What the fuck? See, I've they seen this kind of shit. They that Carlos, the Carlos Boozer is who I was thinking of. He did, he did way too much right here. <coughs> Come on, he looks like a sharpie. <laughs> I, think, I think I heard him talk about this, and he, <coughs> what he said was like he did it kind of like as a joke the day before the day of, and it wouldn't wash off. So he's like, "Fuck it, I got to do it now." <laughs> they wouldn't let wear, let him wear a rag or something on the court. Like God, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. So, so the basing is the is the, is the paint filling 
is where they kind of like wait does jalen rose get it too oh no it, yeah oh yeah wait, no, why if is you this... if you 40 50 and you got this crispy hairline that shit ain't real though <laughs> it is what it is i like it you call it crispy I mean, my man my man my, my, my Mike Tomlin, Tomlin no. This ain't the Beijing. This is this looks more like uh, a hairpiece. <laughs> Jerome Pettis' barber had to get Mike Tomlin's hair right. That's yeah. Funny. This, this this looks like a hairpiece though. See, go to the LeBron James though. Was he is he doing the Beijing then? Is I that, think he got uh, no. This, <coughs> he got he plugs. Yeah, I think he got plugs. Honestly, when it was starting to go, there was a little space where I kind of just dug it. Like, like when, this this this, this, the this top, space wasn't bad. Yeah, when he was oof, when he was getting uh when he started to go bald, it's like just kind of let it go, man. You... Yeah, it, but it's like such an egotistical thing. It's like it's weird. I remember when I thought I was going bald, but what it was was um I have a calic like right in the center of my forehead. Yeah. That I never noticed before because I, I one in the back of my head. I can never get this shit <clears> to, <throat> to yep. cooperate. So I need a haircut. I'm probably gonna get one later today, but like. But I remember when I thought I was going bald, I was like, son, like. Fuck this. And I was just like hurt. <laughs> I was hurt, dog. You know what I always liked is the the line. What what's that? What's that shit? The like right here. Uh oh just part. It's not even a part. It doesn't go all the way back. It's just like like one line. Like, like a like, hash. Like the Nas part. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's like the That's Nas. That's cool. That's like always look cool. Like a little part. Yeah. I always like that. Yeah, no, I, I don't I never I know I did when I was young I did. You no, know, you know, in 2011, I had a little part. Yeah, in my in my fucking um, in my E60, I had a part. Yep. Your E60. Look at you. I had a, I had a now E60. that now it's a flex. The, the, it is a flex. The bougie <clears throat> eggs were not the flex. This is the flex. How do I flex, man? <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about parts. <laughs> I'm doing my part. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, E six my part. God damn it! Still my part, man. Aaron <coughs> Foster, openly secular. Was that with Shap? Um, Jeremy Shap. Sure. I don't know who interviewed you. Bam! There we go. Because he does this E60 really shitty shirt, quality. Right? Though. There we go. Look. I'm forcing you to look at my um. I will 100 percent look my at my part, right bro. Now. Bam! There okay. it is. There it is. That's not a great. That's not a great pause shot of you. So no, nah, it looks like I'm saying. <laughs> it looks, looks like you smell something. Like, yeah, it's just horrible. <laughs> Stop sharing your screen. Uh. Easy technological world we live in though the do you ever just like world. pause and like appreciate it show this okay all right <clears throat> uh <laughs> uh sarah wanted your opinion of the following let me show Shoot, you sarah oops hold on because because we, we kind of glossed over it gotcha uh, so here, this shit right here. Oops. Oh man, <laughs> this guy. Like, what the fuck? That's like, that's Spice Adams. What is that shit? He's doing that shit for a joke. This is that's a joke. Yeah, that's not for real. That's okay. Spice Adams. What's he used to play ball? He, he used to play um, defensive tackle for the Bears. Spice Ad I've never heard of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's doing that for a joke. He, it's like a parody of of people that get the Beijing. Though, like, I mean, don't get me wrong. Okay. Some older dudes they overdo it. Like, like. Because I've right seen now. this beard shit before. That's not. It doesn't seem like a joke. They well, overdo it. That's what I'm saying. So what I'm saying is like my like my dad. Like if you look at him, like you could tell he got the Beijing fresh out the barbershop. But like, you can't tell him no damn like pops. Like, you it might just be time to let it go or just. <laughs> Stop! Like the Beijing, you ain't fooling nobody. He's like, nah, man. You know what I'm saying? I still gotta, you know, this nigga. He just this is what it is, <laughs> and so you can't tell him no different. So he he's doing a parody of cats like who <laughs> can't can't let it go. That's funny. That's uh, we have a lot of white guys that do that shit too, though. I think that's just men in general. I think they get like, the Beijing. No, no, no. <laughs> 
guy. Uh, the really bad, the really bad like hair plugs. Um, like bad hair plugs. <laughs> this is this is a thing that like you just this this look right here. Uh, here I'll go back to screen share. It's it's like this is super common, and I think this is our version of that. Like that shit where you can see like the like the that they fucking just pop it into their heads. <laughs> this shit. I've never seen that shit. Yeah, when it's it's like when when they get the plugs initially and then they don't like cultivate it. <laughs> I don't know. Just let it go, man. Like it's fine. <coughs> it's fine. It's tough though, man. I understand it, dog, because it's like, so my mom had issues with this, not the hair loss, mm -hmm. but so for years, she was a brunette mm -hmm. or whatever, dark hair. She had dark hair. I don't know if that's what they call brunettes. She started graying. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, she, so she started graying, so she started dying it, mm -hmm. and it started to look like fucking <clears throat> like vampire black. Yeah, you gotta, go, like, you gotta go to a professional for that shit if you don't want it to look. But weird. I told, but I mean, it was straight, but it was just like, <clears throat> I told her mom, like, listen, you don't have the genes to where you look horrible when you age. Yeah, some people do. It is what it is. <clears throat> she looks like I, a beautiful older woman. I think like, gray looks good on a lot of people, and I think and we that's need to was, embrace it a little bit more. That's what I was trying to tell her. And, uh, and a deeper point, I'm gonna make in a second. But she looks beautiful as an older woman. And I was like, Mom, just let that shit gray out. Just let it go. Because, like, I look at my grandmother. Her beautiful. Like, dog, she used to be, like, 70 years old. And, like, people, like, in my class, like, my dudes would be like, <clears throat> hey, bro, your grandma fam? I'm like, man, like, chill out. <laughs> but, like, she's a beautiful older woman. And so my mother got those same genes. <clears throat> so she used to, like, she used to hide the shit. And so she finally let it grow out. And so she now her whole head is gray, right? Little black streaks here and there, but it's gorgeous. And she gets compliments on her hair everywhere she goes. And yeah. she finally agrees to it. But to a broader point is this, and it's a societal thing. We hate elders. We hate aging. It's like, it's like a campaign against it, right? Like it's, it's the reason why if you look at Hollywood, um, <clears throat> Botox is the thing. Yeah, It's because actors, when they, especially women, when they reach a certain age, they can't find work because they want the younger looking woman. And it's a sickness, dog. Like if you look at like our older colonies, uh, there used to be things in Africa, they're, they're, uh, they were called griots. And what uh, griots were, were people that passed down like the stories and the legends. And they used to be heralded, right? Yeah. It, like you would go sit around a campfire or whatever. <clears throat> and the griots would tell the, the history of the tribe and the history of your people. It's pretty dope. And and now, if you're look elder, like look look how we treat elderly in, in 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 the homes that we send them to, like they're treated like shit. If you if you if you if you if you retire as a as an athlete, washed, you're fucking used, right? Yeah. It's like it, it, anything that you do and you're and you're aged, <clears throat> like you're looked down upon by a younger society, and it's oh, yeah. and it's a, it's a gross. I think it's a gross. A side effect of capitalism because it's like what it is is like your value you can't make money off in you off you anymore therefore your value is not useful to us anymore and it's sad as fuck because it's t it's teaching um our youth and our elderly to not uh value aging and aging is beautiful it's the reason why i found so much solace in in my belief system theologically was because Part of the beauty of life is you get to age. You get to age, right? It's not like you have to age. It's like you sure, get yeah. to age. I grew up in a neighborhood where you, the statistics say you don't make it past 21 years old. So I got to age. That was a luxury for me. And so, and so we, don't, we don't look at it like that because we can't make money. Like we can't, we're not as valuable a, as we age. And it's gross. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think that probably is pretty spot on <clears throat> i think obviously like the idea of aging and like being in pain and shit you know your joints hurt and shit but um <laughs> that's a symptom of capitalism too most likely <laughs> i mean but think, think if we had a society bust your ass for life <clears throat> yeah 
<coughs> think if we had a society that uh, was more lenient towards aging, though, right? Mm-hmm. Like it's all, it, like everything is predicated off of youth. Like this is a youth-driven society. But if we had a society that was based on like to me logic and reason, everybody's gonna get there eventually, Lord willing, right? Um, we would have uh, things set up to help people with aging psychologically, <clears throat> physically, yeah. to help you with m- medical care, like stuff like that. But we don't, and so it's like once you research at a certain age, it's kind of like. Get well, the yeah, fuck out the way, bro. I think it's changing a little bit in how we view it. Whereas, like, we, we, and only a little bit, where we start looking at people like where they're around like 50, and we're like, you know what? They can still like do stuff. Like, like, and people can look good at 50. Like, um, <laughs> what? They can still do stuff. They can still do stuff. Like, there isn't this, like, like, it's not everybody's like a fucking, oh my God. no, like, like, um, I don't know. <clears throat> Like the silver fox sort of thing. Like the women, women like, get the raw end of this though. Where, where when Especially they start graying, it looks bad. But like Keanu, it doesn't look bad though. I know I it doesn't. Aiden. I know it doesn't. Like Keanu it could Reeves, be part of my fetish just, though, right? Fair so, enough. You could have a so fetish. my porn, my porn fetish. <laughs> when I go on my site, I type in mature. There you go. <laughs> I enjoy an older looking woman. Like it's not. It is what it is. There you go. I I don't share this fetish, <laughs> but I'm happy for you. Hey, you go for the, you go for the young bucks. No, like it's usually age appropriate. Like uh, I found that as I age, I, I find that as I age, you know how like I when, don't believe that shit for a second though. So you type in age appropriate. Well, I don't think that is that a, like, I, is that a, is that a, is that a porn search? Can you go age appropriate porn, <laughs> please? No, 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 no. What I mean, what do you type in, dog? That sounds like. Bull- what? I don't watch a lot of porn. Uh, typing in oh. typing in shit. Uh, I don't know. Like, What's your go-to search, bro? Come on, man. Oh, now let me think. I don't know. It's not a lot. Type in age-appropriate age, age porn. Age-appropriate porn. Um, hmm. Hmm. I don't really have, like, a go-to. Like, I, I don't have, like... Excuse me, search bar. Could you uh, show me... I'm eclectic. <laughs> you... I'm eclectic. There's, there's lots of different stuff, but... Uh, I don't know. How much can we say TOS? What's TOS? I don't know what TOS means. Terms of service. I think you can say mature, but I don't know how much. I don't know how. I don't know how into the woods we can get with this shit. I mean, how, what are you typing in? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, don't know. I mean, I was about to talk about like sexual preferences and shit. I don't That's know. Fine. Let's just say, let's just say, <laughs> um, there are some things like, uh, Sarah knows that I like in bed. That's <clears> kind of the stuff that I tend to, uh, Dude, I don't know how much we can actually say without. You want to uh, keep it private, man? I, cool, well, man. I'll, t- I'll, I mean, I'll text no, this no, to can, you if you want to talk about we, it. I'm worried about on Twitch it talking about it. We're gonna keep it private. Hold on, man. someone look it up. If it's not TOS, I'll talk about it. I don't care. I don't think it's TOS. Well, I'm gonna look at it. How can it be TOS? Hey, if... this is my job. I know you don't care. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking. You're, you're can you're right. you talk? Explicitly. What is hentai? Somebody said, somebody said you're in hentai. What is oh, hentai? No, I don't like anime and shit. Hentai is like anime porn, like animated, oh, okay. animated. But um, I saw one with um. No, I know. Lois. I know Sarah. You don't care. I'm saying like I'm like. Can we Lois talk? Lois and Marge was doing 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 things. Marge from the Simpsons. Can you explain on Twitch? Marge. Yep. I wasn't into it, man. It was more interest. Somebody. Really oh, the Simpsons porn. Vision. Yeah. But it was Lois from Family Guy and Marge. <clears throat> Sexually suggestive content is prohibited. Um, hmm. Behavior and commentary. All right. I'm not going to get into specifics on Twitch then. Got you. But uh, Sarah knows what I like. That's typically the kind of stuff. <laughs> that's kind of the stuff I talk. There's specific things. Acts. It's more about acts. It's less about like a fetish about like a demographic. Does that make sense? It's more about sex acts that I would that I would look for rather like than like position positions. Not necessarily specifically positions, but just like different activities that you could do <laughs> without getting too explicit. Uh, Jake's a boring fucking. I am a het. Yes. Um, mm. Alibro does sex education talks. Uh, no tentacles. I guess you're right. I don't know. It's not race play. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, you fucking race play, Jake. No, I don't. Uh, I I am the ultimate switch though. No, uh, I don't. I don't. I don't. Dom or so. Holy shit, bro. Holy shit. Cancel me. <laughs> Cancel me. 
Um, no, nah, it's uh, yeah, it's it's more about different. Uh, like it just depends on like what I would want in the moment, but I'm too lazy to pursue. Basically, is kind of how I look Bla- at porn. Bla- sure, sure, that's that's <clears throat> that's a thing sometimes, but it's like it depends. Like, you know how I don't know, I don't know. There's just there's just different shit. How kinky is Jake? I'm as kinky as my partner typically. Like what you want to do, but it's not. See, I don't have like. Maybe um maybe maybe this is a bad thing. Um I I don't have like a kink. And I kind of wish I did. I See, I don't have like a specific thing that turns me on. Like I'll do a thing for somebody. Ooh, I got a thing, bro. <laughs> Can we talk oh, about it or what? Yeah, I don't care. Well, I know you don't care. I'm just wondering. Oh. No, I I think I think um <clears throat> I like to explore sexually. Sure. <clears throat> I think, you know, I think I like to fantasize about it more than I like to actually do it. Sure. So it's like I'll watch wild porn, but I won't necessarily do it with my with my lady. Because I think like, like some of it's like disrespectful. <laughs> right? See, like, that's a thing I can't necessarily get over sometimes. Like there's some stuff that like seems too disrespectful. To a person saying. that I give a shit about. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> like I actually, I, but I watch it and it's entertaining to me. And it does. But then, have you ever been scrolling through porn? Mm-hmm. And then you're doing your thing, right? And then when you're done, you look at the screen like, "What the? This fuck is am I watching? This though? is called empty balls realization." <laughs> <laughs> no, that happens. That happens. That happens like a lot <laughs> in real life. <laughs> Oh, 100%. So this is one of the reasons why I don't... Why well, you don't what? Mm. You could cut out right again. I don't, like, I don't like being single. Oh, yeah. Okay. Because <clears throat> I really enjoy my uh, my relationship. Yeah. It's fun that you get to share your life with somebody. But like <clears throat> after after sex, there's no regret. Yeah. Like And, and when, you, when you have sex with somebody and you look at them and you're like yo i enjoy laying in the bed with you yeah that's a that's a great thing i spent the majority of my life doing the opposite of that after having sex with somebody i'm, I'm looking at them like time to leave so what you about to do man because i'm about to <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah no i like that i like that not better. proud of it but it is, is what it is no i appreciate that i have a heart again i a lot of my sexual gratification comes from like making sure the other person has a good time like that's like a big part of my experience is uh i mean like hey 20 25 percent. i like it when it comes to me as well i'm just saying like my, but the i feel majority like if i'm doing my thing she'll be all right that's that's what i feel like yeah i mean there's there's definitely well it's not just like okay so it's not, like it's not just it's not just like stroke you know what i mean it's, it's not just not like... it's not just stroke related sex that we're talking about it's like the other shit too but like um got you got yeah you. yeah so so i like all the other like foreplay and shit like that is good <laughs> But like, so I like making sure, like, I like being last. Does that make mm. sense? I like, I like, I like, um, de- I guess it depends, but like, like I, I it tends to be better. I like to make sure she's experience. satisfied for sure. For sure. Yeah. And usually I like that. It's not to a be, good feeling when you like, you did your thing. Well, I'm gonna get your next there's, one. there's not many scenarios next in which round. that, uh, I'm going to be like, nah, I'm done. You know what I mean? Like if, yeah. if, if that didn't happen, but, um, uh, That's an interesting question that I would like to ask a woman though. What's that? Is that if 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 you go, right? Not you, I'm talking about a woman. Yeah. If she goes and then I go later on, like are you good? Like is one good enough for you? Like I don't I don't know. Depends on the person in my experience. That's what I'm saying. Like I don't I don't know. Yeah. Uh like currently like it's it's one or two is probably she's capped off for me for me it's i can only do one i don't uh, I, when i was younger i could probably do two easier Never. but I, I the recovery I def- time was probably a little shorter but yeah refra- so it depends like if if i go super early and and like that's part of it and then i can go later okay but like back to back i can't i haven't been able to do that shit since i was like 20. I've never done back to back. How explicit? Never done back. Get? This is a, this is a horrible um, uh, first sexual experience. 
<laughs> I don't think anyone has a good first sexual experience, do they? Really? Like, like, not, like maybe not like bad in that like it was unsafe, but like it wasn't that. Like looking back unsafe. on it, it's like I'm not doing that again. Like you know what I mean? So mine was like peer pressure because everybody around me was doing it. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, all right, I gotta get it. I gotta get it. I gotta... And I did it, but I did it during Christmas break, right? Right when the school let out, we, I don't even know what house we was in. We was in somebody's house, Christmas break, and maybe seven seconds, bro. Seven that, seconds, that, yeah. That might be, that might be, that might be gracious of me yeah. to give me seven seconds. Yep, the one pump. Mine and was so, longer, but. <clears throat> and so I was in and out, but I stayed in, right? I stayed in. Uh oh. And so I was like, oh my God. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't pull out. It was like. Yeah, brain, un- lizard brain. It was unreal. We've all been and there. So, <laughs> and so, yeah. And so <clears throat> my whole Christmas break, I was like, dog, You're I'm about to have a baby. Yeah. By this chick, oh fuck no! I'm, I was I was scared as shit, scared as shit. It was the worst first performance my, my, that you could possibly have. <laughs> mine was definitely I healthier. Was, mine was horrible though. But she came back and said everything was. Yeah, uh, we used protection. A, um, I didn't see. I was just. But we had dumb. a really hard time like getting everything in to where it needed to be. It was. Uh, yeah. Was it just? Inexperience, or I think it was a combination of of inexperience. Oh, was it both of y'all's first time? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that probably yeah, that's yeah. that's a great way to do it though. It wasn't her first time. It was my. Yeah. Okay. I see. So like, like, and I I did <clears throat> one one thing I told myself when I was younger after I did it first was I never was going to do it again. Is like unless I was like in love with her, but it never happened. But uh, like if somebody was a virgin, mm-hmm. I would never do that. I would never never do that. Do what? I just didn't if, unless I was in love with them, like Oh, oh, you mean have sexual virgin. I see. Yeah, I would I would never I never I only did it once, but I hated it because it was like you're um they'll always remember that. Like I remember my first, so I yeah. a woman would definitely is more emotionally attached to sex, I would think. Maybe. You don't mm-hmm. think I don't know. I, I feel like the 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 lines are blurred. It's sort of blurred. Yeah, it's starting to blur. Maybe it used to be the case because of the way that we socialized it, but I think it's becoming less less of the case in our age group. So that's an interesting, that's an interesting uh, conversation. <clears throat> Do you think that <clears throat> the roles of women and men mm-hmm. in America, because of the emergence of uh, people who think of roles in the contrary, <clears throat> like I'm pretty – stereotypical man right yeah and i i'd say i fall be, into that role as well right and it may be because yeah. of societal things but it's just what i'm comfortable being i'm comfortable i think it's both though like you're valid like we're validly men like it's not like right like even though even though there's aspects of masculinity that are shit like it's right we still feel comfortable in that so i think that's fine. right 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 um the 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 gender roles <laughs> that we place on on people historically are kind of changing no yeah i 100 percent agree that <clears throat> to me that lends itself to so many um variables or just so many like different possibilities because a lot of what we view our society economically um religiously everything is through these binary roles of male and female <clears throat> yeah and so because that's changing the next few generations are going to be interesting because if you look at like i remember when i was going shopping for <clears throat> we were going shopping for excuse me i'm sorry about this cough too good. but i remember i was going shopping for some toys i told my kids like they did something i go get them some toys bam we went to get some toys and i went to toys r us and toys r us I went still to, exists where you're at oh maybe it wasn't toys r us it was oh, a toy okay. store or whatever but it definitely, it definitely lost. But I went to the the male section, and it was like a whole bunch of different options, right? Whatever. Yeah. I didn't even think about anything. And I went to the female option to pink. get my daughter something. It was pink cooking shit. There was a fucking toy vacuum. And I was like, what fuck, the fuck is yeah. this? I a had toy a toy vacuum? vacuum, and I really liked 
That shit is insane. But I was like, like what? the balls <laughs> bounced in it and shit went pop, 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 pop. It's like, and I never really thought about gender roles of like programming like that. And I sound like all super fucking wokeish, right? Like, it's like no, it is. It's like, literally it's gender programming. And it's like, but it, but it is. It's like, like as a child, like this woman had, like these little girls have like cooking sets, and they have vacuums, and they have like yeah. dolls and dress ups, and like boys have like guns and fucking monster trucks. And I'm like, wrestlers we're, and Spider Man. We're, we're 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 literally yeah sequencing society and the girl Which aisle is like one aisle. one space and then yeah, most of very it's like, small yeah. yeah very small it's uh it is interesting and i know there's some <coughs> you know like lego has for years since like the 80s has been like this isn't a boy boy toy or a girl toy it's a kid toy like right. use lego however you want right and i always thought that was dope like i really liked lego growing up did you guys have anything did you like like lego or there, I, when it was when it was when it was available. Yeah, I was gonna say they got a little expensive at a certain point, and I had two. I had two toys that I fucking loved. I had a I had a Goliath, and I had a Xenatos. Wait, what are these? From Gargoyles. Gargoyles. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. the cartoon. Yeah, I had a Goliath. Yeah, and a Xenatos. Those were dope. Used to fucking, they used to have epic battles. Yeah. those were my two. Those were my two shits. Dude, I had Batman. I had the, like a second. I think we got it from like a garage sale. It was like a. The bat plane mm. that like you put the, mm. you took the wings off and it had wheels that popped out and it would also be a Batmobile. Oh, yeah. I played oh, with yeah. that shit in the tub forever. Oh, I remember yeah. that shit. Like Lego was Did my shit it? though. No to her. I got you. Sorry. She have Lego? <laughs> no, no, no. She uh she found the uh the temperature. So my daughter just got off she woke this morning kinda hot, so I was oh. kidding. Feeling better at all? She's feeling fine, but like she was just like a little warm, and so I took. She was in full jammies though. So. Yeah, that's why I'm okay with your cough. You're a, you're a survivor here, man. I'm in a fucking dude. Kid coals are fucking awful too. Kid co- yeah. <laughs> Kids get <laughs> fucking, the fucking sick, man. Have you seen the uh, the coughing cat? Uh uh-uh. uh, coughing cat. <laughs> that shit is hilarious. I don't know if you ever seen um. Is it just a real life cat having a cough? <laughs> I don't know if it's a. It's not a video. It's a picture. But it's exactly how kids. Yeah, here it goes. It's exactly how kids cough. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking little that white one with the weird. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they stick their fucks. You go. <laughs> yeah. Why do kids cough like that? It's I don't gross. Know, bro. I didn't cough like that yeah, as a kid. And so, and so, <laughs> it's fucking funny. And so, she's fucking. She'll be coughing up, and she just fucking. She uh, she looks me dead in the eye, dog, and then does that. Yeah. She just fucking. Fuck that shit. She fucking looks me dead in the eye. <laughs> it's the funniest shit in the world, man. Damn. Oh, did you get Disney Plus? Man, yeah. you did. I right? did get Disney Plus. They have gargoyles. Yep, I saw some, and I was not gonna lie, a little disappointed. <sighs> it turns out that cartoons when you were a kid sucked. It was, no- it was nostalgia, man. I'm I was, like, I looked at the first like two or three episodes. And I'm like, this shit fucking sucks. Yeah, the animation's horrible. The storyline's pretty trash. Like yep. everything sucks. Like even the, I even looked at um, X Men. X Men was like, my thing. The, 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 Dude, the song's still a banger though. Okay, he banged it out. Yeah, but. Have you, oh, have you heard the uh, the Jamaican joke? The Jamaican one? Yeah, man. The Jamaican yeah. X-Men song? Oh, yeah. I bet I Jamaican. can just type Jamaican X-Men song. That's got to be a thing. Don't fucking... <coughs> X-Mon? 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 Here, here. Let's watch this at the same time. You got it? Yeah. Yo. For Mr. X-Men. Q him up. Q him up. Okay, I think it's it's got a little. Is, is oh, it yeah. psychonomic? We'll yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. All right. yep. Tell me yep. one. All right, three, two, one, go. Yo, for Mr. X Men, then feel it's a man a gal that used to be a man. But Mr. X Men, because I'm extraordinary and I have extraordinary powers. <laughs> Red be mouth on me iris. Six sharp blades pop out of my fist. Oh, God. Yeah, I got them if she give you this. Bullet fall like rain if I boy this. Fireworks, let me fingertips. 
Fire burst from the clitoris. Fire burst from the clitoris. <laughs> Man, but we have our penises. But not the girl them strong when she grip the john with the two hands. Zoom, she apply to the room like a two can. Boom, up the blast and your face. Give me room, man. Come on, X man. No, me not human. Yo, 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 wait, wait, wait. My road. Wagwan. Wagwan. <laughs> we bring y'all. We bring y'all. No, you bring one blue bitch. <laughs> 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 but me not done yet. One time she called me a climb up the wall, shoot from me eyeballs, so she stuck to the wall. Big jet, she get wet. X-Men, you not ready yet. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, you not ready. <laughs> That's good shit. <laughs> X-Men. The fucking internet, man. What a good place. The Mighty Duck series? Shit. Is that on there? Yeah. The Mighty Ducks? I'm going to have to run that back. You know, I ran back um, Air uh, the Rookie of the Year. The rookie of the Year, is that good? Yes, I watched it. It's still dope. It's still <laughs> still super dope. You remember um, uh, Marv from Home Alone? Yes. He's one of the dudes in there. He's oh, like that's that. right. Yeah. He's the coach or something. <laughs> he's, like a, he's like a pitching coach. Marv from Home Alone. Home yep. Alone is still fucking good. And then what I ran back was a fucking classic and this movie stood the test of time like i didn't think any movie could all right the sandlot sandlot's good as shit dog my dog my my kids were like in love with the sandlot yeah sandlot so it good. made me that's prompted me on twitter i, I did like <clears throat> top five um athlete movie athletes of all time <laughs> the jet and number two was benny the jet rodriguez though benny the jet benny the jet rodriguez we gotta love it and it's then they gave him a, then they gave him a Mike Piazza fucking mustache and his flash forward at the end of the movie. Yeah, what it was a hell, hell, hell of a while. Hell, hell of a while. Bummer. It's okay. The mustache yeah, is coming back though. Seen Jared yeah, Allen and shit. Are you gonna do it? You gonna? No, God no. I look like dog shit like that. What about yeah. uh? What about the uh, the Fu Manchu? No, nah, you'd look all right with it though. Have you seen Jared oh, Allen? The fuck, I wouldn't. Uh, he's the center for the Brooklyn the Nets. Oh no, I thought that was the oh, DM man. for the Minnesota Vikings. Uh that was Jared <laughs> Allen. Not Jarrett Allen. <laughs> no, dude, he's got a really he's got good hair too. He's got a good ass mustache. <clears throat> Wait, it's not Jared Allen? What is J what is Jared? Uh with two T's at the end. Jarrett. Jarrett. Oh, stupid fucking name. <laughs> Jared. I guess he brought some. He 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 brought the chin hair into it. Recently. Nice, bro. Yeah, that's that's not a, that's not a mustache. That's a, he used to. Well, he, he used to have just a mustache. Where the hell did that go? I think he got the. Um, Maybe he got uh, that, peer pressured into the rest of it. What's the? Uh, damn, I'm I'm losing it. Clyde Drexler. Like Clyde Drexler mustache? shit. Clyde Drexler had a mustache. Yeah. The Clyde Drexler must Clyde the Glide. Are you kidding me? Look at that shit. Oh yeah, even when he was on the Rockets. See, that's a man that knew how to bald. Burt Reynolds. Burt fucking Reynolds. Burt Reynolds, one of the best mustaches. Borat. Reynolds mustache. Eddie Murphy. Okay, okay, okay. All right, that is a good mustache. That is a nice. Burt Reynolds' skull is weird. Why is his skull like, all weird? And... Like, this shit here is ridiculous. You know what? He looks like Pedro Pascal. I don't know who that is. Pa that uh, Pedro Pascal is, uh, he's the Mandalorian. But uh, he looks like fucking Burt Reynolds. He does, That's man. wild. <coughs> he has a good mustache, too. That was like Sancho West. Yeah, I think he's from um chili or something where was he from <clears throat> all right so you got to explain this to me bro yeah what's up are you a star wars guy yeah okay i like star wars. what the fuck was going on in the mandalorian so i try is it is it a is it a prequel to like the actual star it wars? isn't like okay i watched like three <clears throat> of the episodes it's um i like it it's like a western movie in the star wars universe it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with like the characters in the movies but it's in the same mm -hmm. universe so it's like so um, I don't have to know about Star Wars to enjoy the Mandalorian. The the I mean, you know what the Empire is, right? Bad no. guys. The Empire's the bad guys. Okay. That's it. That's I don't know shit. I don't watch Done. Star Wars. That's it. That's all you gotta okay. know. Empire you know what Yoda looks like? 
Yeah, the little fucking little ear dude. Green dude, yep. Uh, and you know uh, Mandalorians are just part of that universe. Boba Fett was a Mandalorian. Um, or he used Mandalorian armor. Whatever. doesn't really matter. Um, if you just look at it like it's a Western in, in space, you're just going to enjoy it. It's just cool. Okay. Yeah. It's a good it's it's a good show. I really I really like it. And I'm a I like Star Wars in general anyway, so Bro, I tried, dog. Oh my god. That's okay. It's a uh, if you, <laughs> I really uh, tried too. I was like, yo, this is one of the nostalgia. most critically acclaimed movies of all time. Yeah. Or just series of all time. I was like, yo, I got to sit down. And me and my lady we sat down. We rolled one. We was passing it back and forth. And you didn't and we like watched it even the very high. first one. Oh, the first I was one like, was like pretty rough. It was like did you watch the, the second one? Shit. No, I didn't make it past the first. Okay, hour. Empire is one of the best movies of all time. The Empire Strikes Back is one of the best movies of all time, especially because you don't know like uh, you don't know like the stuff. You don't know anything about it, so like this is good. I think. I think. So you're telling me suffer through the first one? Isn't the, there a the first one's not that great? An order? You have to watch them like in certain order too. You don't have to, but I recommend it for people watching the first time through because it, <laughs> right, it has give a, me the, give me the order. Has a good narrative. Text me the so, order. So okay, text me the order, and I'm gonna I'm a man. Well, you already watched New Hope, which is number four. No, I, no, I made it through like the first twenty minutes, and I was like, yo, this shit is. Horrible. Wait, did you watch the prequel? I don't know. I watched. Did you watch whatever. episode one? Dude was yeah, the one with the with the one like the yellow words. That well, that's that's all of them. Oh well, shit! Did you watch two guys with lightsabers kill a bunch of robots? Uh, they were like laser guns. There was laser guns. Pew, 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 was pew. it an old movie or was it the, like in the nineties? Super old, super old, like seventies maybe. Okay, so you watched New Hope, so that is the first movie. Okay, but it's episode four because there's prequels. So that's the episode four. Episode four came out. So first. should I watch the prequels? First? No, they're dog shit. But you might like them a little bit better. Um, Man, dog, like, it's just um, so confusing. That's why I like Star Trek better. You like Star Trek better? Oh, I'm a Trekkie. That's okay. At least you're one of them. You got to pick one. Yeah, you have to pick. It's like you, Bloods and Crips, right? I was going to say uh, Beatles, Stones, Biggie, Tupac. But yeah, sure. You could Bloods and Crips. <laughs> All right. Same, same difference. <laughs> he holds up his wine. Yeah. Yeah, that big in the blood, blood and crypt communities. So whoop. top shelf one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what you know about chaos theory? Um, so yeah, you watch the uh, you watch four or five, which is New Hope, Empire Strikes Back. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest, man. You gonna have to text it to me. I'm gonna text it to you, but we're gonna talk it through first. Okay, but I promise I'll, pro I'll this promise. For people, this is for people that don't. This is for everybody else. That. So four or five, which are um, uh, a New Hope which is uh, Luke Skywalker's story starts Empire Strikes Back uh you sort of get uh the mid the mid of his whole story and uh there's a big twist that happens and shit and it's a really really good like from a technical standpoint like the special effects are beautiful um the uh just the story in general and it's important to understand that it's not a sci-fi movie it's a fantasy movie in a sci-fi universe right don't fucking don't you fuck. yep and yep. uh and i th i think from a filmmaking standpoint i'm a film guy though like i, I really like like the craft of film and like kind of watching it um then you go back to the prequels which are dog shit but the kids might like them or some shit and um, so the new ones that are gonna come out i'm interested the reason the why new I, ones why are really good in, so the reason why i'm interested in the writers from game of thrones left the last season and they got they're, fired they're working on a they got fired. Ridiculous. I don't know. I don't know the whole backstory. No, no, no. They got fired from Star Wars. They got fired from Star Wars because of that shit. So the guys because of Game of Thrones. Yeah, because they fucked. They fucked up the last season. But I heard their hands were tied. It had nothing to do with them. Um, like they, because they only signed off for what six episodes on the last season, so they rushed everything. The last two seasons, they just rushed everything, right? And so, but the writing, you cannot, you cannot argue. That the writing was not brilliant. It was brilliant um, writing. <laughs> uh, Beautiful writing. For the so they most, got fired. they got fired. But that's why I got into Star Wars in the first place, or even attempted to. <clears throat> so the last two movies. Well, I'm they didn't give you my cough, bro. 
Yeah, I don't know, man. Um, I hope not. That would be <laughs> fucking awful. Um, pretty dope, actually. We can... We could, we could bacteria cosmic bacteria god damn it it's fucking amazing no thank you um <laughs> no thank you yeah this got this got changed up talking um, about season eight was not horrible bro season, horrible season eight was not good in comparison to the rest of it no See, but fuck, well fuck it you write a better season well, I don't know. That's not. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about chat. But you can too if you feel like you can do it better. I feel like I. Oh. I feel like you just need more time. I feel like you need to spend more time on it. Instead of, of course, it was condensed. But they like, like the 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 show signed up for six episodes. So what or I seven. what I liked about so is that the writers fault that they had to condense. They had to wrap it up in seven episodes. I think when it, each season was ten I, yeah. or eleven. Come on, man. It was definitely a studio problem up, too. Yeah. It was definitely a studio. They set problem. them up to fail. Yeah. They set them up to fail. Um. But that's uh, how it works. That's exactly how it works. They have been on record saying like, oh, like, oh, what was that fucking quote from them? Oh, man. Uh, also, George R. R. Martin left the writing team, which was the big problem. The writer of the books that he who was right. There. Yeah, he, left he wasn't. He's, he's not even finished with the books. No, nah, he's not there yet. Um, yeah. But. Uh. uh they had something like narrative is for like book reports or something. Like narrative is so important. And I think they got a little up their own asses. And so what I'm hoping is uh when they move forward, um it's gonna be it's gonna be better. I hope so. Um there was a change in it though. Those guys got moved off of it. Are you are you in the camp that the Game of Thrones writers are incompetent? Incompetent? No. I mean, they gave you they gave you seven seven seasons of the best show, and then the eighth season was just underwhelming. Of all time, like dog, like this is this is. One I'd of say the best Breaking shows Bad is probably time. better, but like one of the worst shits I've ever watched. Did you what the fuck is? Did you finish I watched, it? I watched four seasons of that bullshit. How do you not? And like I that? tried. Jesse Lee Peterson or whatever Jesse. Fuck is name? Jesse, what is his name? Uh, yeah, Jesse. In the in the one show. of the worst characters I've ever seen. <laughs> So annoying was a snitch. Was a what's the correction? The studio was on for 10 or more seasons, and it was the writers that said, Nah, we want to wrap this up in eight because we want to go do Star Wars. I need evidence. I'm a skeptic. Evidence, skeptic. Evidence, skeptic. We need evidence. Evidence, Evidence. we need evidence. (laughs) I will say though, the the new the hell of a claim she just laid down new, like a hammer, uh, Thor hammer on us. Thor hammer. The new the <coughs> Jesse Pinkman. The new the Pinkman, new the yeah. new Star Wars movies are fucking dope. And honestly, if you just want to start there, watch watch those movies. Just understand. You know who Luke Skywalker is. Yeah, white dude. You know who Han Solo is. Yeah, another white dude. You know who Lando Calrissian is. Another white dude. No, he's black. Okay, cool. uh, I, mean, I, was, I was going with the thing. Like, I don't know. Who he's like the old, actually, actually. Um, uh, oh, what the fuck is his name? The actor's name. Why can't I think? Uh, Billy D. Williams. Billy D. Williams ba- uh, said to uh, in a um, uh, the, in Esquire magazine. He just got uh, he just got um, interviewed, uh, and this just came out. He said, um, and I see you say himself and herself. Because I also see myself as feminine as well as masculine. I'm a very soft person. I'm not afraid to show that side of myself. By the way, Empire is when Billy D. Williams comes in and Lando's there. He's friends with Han, and he's fucking. He is. He's a very good character. Um, but anyway, so is the writing good? That's what. That's what makes the writing that's what is makes good. So movies good to yeah, yeah. The writing good. <laughs> uh, George Lucas's wife was was part of the writing team for. Uh, episode four, five, and six—the original trilogy, the old, the old stuff in the seventies and eighties—they right. um, got divorced, and then he made the prequels, and the writing suffered. Um, she's the reason that like Princess Leia is like a badass, right? Who right. like like if you watch those movies, cosplay—is that what you do? You do cosplay, don't you? I don't do cosplay. No. Okay. All right. Do you do cosplay? I thought I cracked your your porn. Oh, my porn screen. shirts? No, it's not. Uh, although I don't blame you if you. Uh, if you searched like Princess Leia porn, uh, I never have, but I figured the uh, was... the ba- the the slave suit. Um, that's definitely a thing. Shit. Oh man, 
Burt Reynolds Jr. just popped. Burt Reynolds. Did she send me a DM or something? No. <clears throat> Empire Strikes Back is also the only one not directed by George Lucas yet. It's really, really good. Um, but if you just wanted to watch the the uh, the new movies and just understand, I I think some of the fan service stuff isn't going to do it for you. Like um, when some of the old characters or ships show up and stuff, it's not going to be as nostalgic for you either way. But um, um, the movies are just fun as fuck. And there's a dope fight scene in the second movie that's just um, like. I love The Last Jedi. I think it's one of the best movies in the series. I think it's the I'm second a, best. I'm going to check it, man. You, yeah. You're not a source. You're a good source. I, I, that was a horrible way to frame it. You're a good, <laughs> you're good, you're, you're good, you're a good source of uh, things that are... Um, of quality. There you go. There's a way better. Yeah, you wrap it up. Nice. I'll try to do it. I, I do my best. There's a... <clears throat> uh, I really like the idea of like just the universe is set up because kind of the thesis behind like the force is like, I think it's really cool. So it's all about balance. And so if you look at the movies through the lens of like the force is a cosmic force um, that is always seeking to balance the, the ethical scales of the galaxy. Right? So Mm -hmm. if a really, really good thing happens, a really, really, how does the universe play into it though? How does it like, what is the the, force um... is the universe? So it's like the Jedi are a religious order. What is the force? Exactly. So, um, everything, are you spoiling some shit for me? No, no, this is just, no, no. Um, so the force in the movies is at first they, 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 they talk about it. Like it's magic that only some people can use. Right. But it's not what it is, is, um, it's kind of like how your friend thinks like the universe is connected, like in every way. Okay. This right. is literally this is literally a force of like think of a, like a physics, a force of physics that literally connects and binds things. So um, to the point where in the <clears> first <throat> movie, when you when you watched it, uh, that planet blew up. Yuck, Edgar. No, the planet blew up, uh, and the old guy yeah. the old guy goes, "There's like a disturbance in the force, and you could feel like all those people dying, right?" Right. So a force attuned person is is like really empathetic, um, typically in the light side of the force. So like they, I might be too drunk for this. <clears throat> now you're good, man. Um, okay. And so, basically, people that um, people that can are they're called force sensitive in the movies or whatever. Um, they can just sort of tap in a little bit better to the natural thing that binds the universe together, better than and what people. is that. And it's called the force. It's just called the force. Um, but is the force anything? Is it like an Oz? No, no. The force is a thing. It's real. Um, it's what lets so them. It's a thing. It is a real thing. So it, in the movies, of course, it lets them like you know um, manipulate matter and, and and change some stuff. And and depending on so oh, I'm interested. Now. Right. So if you kind of look at look look at the movies through the lens of like the force is literally acting on the situation. There's a reason that the dark side and the light side of the force exist. It's for balance. Um, it doesn't have like, it doesn't want the good side to win. It doesn't want the bad side to win. It just wants balance. It seeks balance. So if, a, again, if really, really good things happen, really, really bad things are going to happen. If minor bad things happen, minor good things are going to happen. And it always balances it. So if you, if you look at it through That's that actually lens, an interesting... I think it's a really, it's a good thesis. George Lucas kind of fucks with it a little bit sometimes. <laughs> But the, what our God does, the right, the broader, the broader uh, message of it, I think, is really interesting um, from a sort of um, just from a narrative point of view. And so, I think the new movies do a really good job of Explaining showing that. showing the balance and kind of the conversation because the conversation in the first movies is like we're the good guys and we're going to beat the empire, right? Those are the bad guys. We're the good guys. In the new movies, it's kind of like, yeah, but the Jedi are like like. And the prequels kind of go over this too. Jedi are the good guys, right? Um, but the Jedi. That's an interesting point. Real quick. Yeah, go ahead. What? No, 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 I'm sorry. Go let me finish, finish your point because okay. this might take us somewhere. Sure. Well, the Jedi are good guys, but they to control the light side of the Force, they push away things that are emotional, love. They push away mm-hmm. familial connection. They push away friendship, and they say, "Don't let your emotions inform your shit." While the other side, the dark side, is only emotion. They don't go like they just use hate. They just use hate. And so like they technically they're both wrong and they're both right. It's really interesting. And so like kind of the idea is they annihilate each other 
And in the middle somewhere is the correct answer how to use the Force, and no one's really tapped into that yet. And they're kind of dabbling with that in the new movies, and I really dig it. Where they have, they, so, they literally have a conversation about, like, who's even the fucking good guys? It's really good. Right. No, it, it's, that's interesting as fuck, and it makes it way more intriguing than I Yeah. Because before I was just like Luke Skywalker shooting corny ass laser beams at these dudes <laughs> wearing is, white uniforms. It's so Hella corny. corny. So corny. But so, but since there's that underlying theme, I'm going to check it out. But <clears throat> what do you think about this? That if you look at like when we grew up or beforehand, even more so, progressively, our superhero movies are leaning towards not a hero archetype. Right, yeah. but like almost a villain archetype winning, right? Yeah. And not necessarily winning, but like you were talking about restoring balance, and that's what it's a more leaning towards. So that is is that like a <clears throat> a societal subconscious or a societal norm I, now? I think it mirrors it, yeah. And so I mean, so so what does that say about our society back then? To me, it said, uh, not to get too deep into it, but like it's like. You know, the typical uh, white family, 2.5 kids, dog, white picket fence, yeah. right? Like, that was what we, our superheroes, and they, we got to save the day. And then as we are, are, are evolving as a society, it's more saying, that's not life. That's not reality, right? And yeah. so it's more so like, um, <clears throat> like the Joker from The Dark Knight is kind of like more of a hero than Batman was. Right, like I sympathize with him more than I do yeah, Batman's, Batman. Batman's so, what does shit. that say about either my ideology or our ideology as a collective? Well, I don't know. I, I guess I kind of think that the idea of a the idea of a superhero is definitely changing. Um, where we're going away from this sort of Jesus motif, which is what Luke Skywalker is in the movies, right? He's he's basically Force Jesus. He's the chosen one, or I guess his dad is. Um, yeah. But uh, no spoilers. Was he born of a? He's he, like they, they have like a line. They have like a like a like a. <coughs> there's like a genetic component to them being force sensitive, um, and so and and when you watch the movies, you'll sort of you'll sort of understand it. They go with it a lot. But um, there's this there's this savior idea, right? Whereas yeah. like I think the Marvel movies kind of get away from this idea that like they're starting to like you know the one of my favorite Marvel movies is is Captain America Winter Soldier because it takes the most patriotic mm. like. I'm American and I'm a white man. And it, it goes like, hey, this guy doesn't like being unilaterally in charge of other people's lives. Like, this guy doesn't want to use fear. And he takes the critique of, like, the American mm. uh, military industrial complex. And it, it, it takes it's, it's a Disney movie. It's not, like, super, super critical. But, I mean, stuff, it, but it, it brings the, it up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and in Star Wars, The Last <clears throat> Jedi... Um, this isn't a spoiler. Um, they have a scene where it's a critique on capitalism, and they're discussing um, like who's profiting off of war, and like like the the reason this galaxy is always at war, the reason it's called Star Wars, is because people make a fuckload of money when there's war, just like America. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And it shows like they go to this really rich planet basically, and there's like a huge casino, and there's lots of bougie ass people there. Um, God, and, I see. I didn't notice this deep. Dude, it's 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 again, it's mm. look past the corny and into like the politics of it and stuff and it's 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 for kids but it's also for adults. It's 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 got really yeah. cool stuff. But um talks about it as like and they uh, some guy steals a ship at some point and it's like, "Okay, well let's see let's see who this guy was working for." And they go through some of the logs and stuff and it shows like, "Oh, he's making the ships for the bad guys." And you see like the 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 tie fighters and the um you know, all the empire space Nazi spaceships that you're used to seeing. And then there's a beat, and it's like, oh, they work for the Empire, and they go, yep, of course they are, you know, just bougie-ass bullshit. And then it looks, and then a little bit later it shows, oh, but they're also making weapons for the good guys. And it shows the different ships that, that the good guys use, and it shows, so it's like... But that isn't a fucking... <laughs> right, that's what I'm saying. So it's like, it's like they're doing a really good job of critiquing these different systems. Um, the prequels for all the bullshit they have wrong with them, um, they really critique so this idea of... of I know the right way to use the force because the Jedi literally steal kids from homes. The good guy in the first in the, in the prequel we movie, do that too. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying like like and that, uh, it kind of it with kind pets. of yeah. With pets. 
we definitely do that with pets, but uh, there's no way Darwin would survive in the wilderness. He's too stupid. Um, that's what you. That's what you tell yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, now we've we've. I'm I'm saying I'm saying you before domesticate. we domesticated before we domesticated he de like the those animals were very good at it and now they're dog shit because we we've we've artificially selected them to be fucking pointless. Jake, have you, you seen are. a pug in your life? Jacob, that's a bad example. <laughs> Bad. Apex pug, predator they pug. Tell, they tell people. They tell people to stop making pugs. I know they should. <laughs> they're telling people to stop, like stop reproducing pugs because they're they're not physically viable. It's, like it's, it's not. Unethical. It's not okay. Yeah, it's unethical to even produce these things because they're just born like deformed. Yeah, is what it is. Um, but anyway, so uh, back to what we were saying. Uh, the the end game, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what is the end game? <clears throat> of the archetype that we are now portraying for hero character or, or not even hero character, but just in general as the heroic story of the archetypes, because it's always this, this actually has influenced my politics a lot. And what I mean by that is for, for a long time, I thought art was just people venting. Mm. And I didn't necessarily see it as them saying something. Um, <clears throat> Yes, and I didn't necessarily see it as um, uh, uh, um, um, art influences politics, politics influences arts, and I didn't think it was this uh, tug of war, and that it, they that they needed each other. I didn't I didn't think of it like that, but they do, and they influence each other. And pop culture has everything to do with legislative power. They're yeah. they're synonymous. They're synonymous, and I didn't know I didn't understand that. And so why what I'm, what I'm asking now is what is what is our end game in our generation and previously it was the heroic Jesus savior model yeah. now it's starting to become the <clears throat> the 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 intelligent villain that isn't necessarily wrong he's just wrong about how he's going about it right he's not like Thanos he's not wrong right he's yeah, not wrong it's just unethical you shouldn't kill like instead of snapping your fingers and killing half of everybody just Snap your fingers and make more resources. Like it's like yeah, yeah. It was literally <laughs> since he he could, he could that was the correct answer. Literally just make right. more resources and space. But he though. wasn't. But he wasn't wrong, right? Yeah, he the just Joker, had the. He's yeah. not wrong. Did you he's watch the Joker? Wrong. Did you watch Joker? Oh, I thought it was amazing, lovely, dog. Right. Oh my god. Okay, so this is this and, and, this. So my, uh, oh, go ahead. What did you think? About, oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. No, go I want to. I want to hear. I want to hear a question. I just, I just wanted to know what you thought about the critique of it. The 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 left's critique of it was that it was. Um, proselytizing incels and proselytizing um, the I think that the, was the, the, the lone wolf yeah the lone wolf and it was kind of portraying I, I, that like <clears throat> I think both people on the far left and far right when they watched that movie they wanted it to be their politics right. and it was so clearly neither of their politics yeah I didn't see it I didn't see it as I did I thought it was brilliant yeah so it's a really really great movie about how if we don't take care of our people, <coughs> they're going to turn into the oh, monsters we thought they were before life. that they actually were that, right? So like like um, Arthur in the movie, the Joker, who <coughs> I guess is not his real name, which is a, kind of a clever way to get out of naming the Joker and giving him an actual backstory, um, mm -hmm. which I, I dig. I don't ever He had to... a backstory though, didn't he? Uh, different versions of the Joker have different backstories, but I kind of like the right. idea that he's enigmatic and he's kind of just like... I do too. He's kind of like this... He he's the he's the chaos to Batman's hyper discipline, which I always dug, um, especially because Batman's yeah, also totally uh, his hyper discipline. Right. He's hyper discipline. He's just dog shit hero. Militaristic, militaristic. Yeah, he's yeah, definitely. I, he's also he also has this white white savior complex shit going on too. Um, but, but I hate he doesn't, Batman. But he doesn't use it. He doesn't never use have his, liked Batman. I like Batman if I look Batman's at. If fucking I, not a superhero. Though. That's why I like. That's why I like Batman because I like looking at it through the look at this bad hero. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Yuck. That's why I like it. Anyway. Yeah. Um. When I was a kid, <laughs> I, he look, was at, just I cool, look at but... Batman as the epitome of privilege. He is, and not <laughs> and not using the pr right parts of his privilege to do good. Yeah. It's it's Yuck. yeah yeah. Anyway. Um. Fuck Batman. So I like the idea of like here's this guy who's mentally <clears> ill, <throat> right? And he's been abused his whole life, and he's yeah. literally actively seeking help. In the movie, we see him seek help, and they're just 
they're just hand waving it and dropping his benefits, and he lives in this shithole with his abusive and mom, thing, and it's like and the one thing that that did bother me about it is mm -hmm. because I do believe in representation. Is look at the people who were denying him; they were all black women. Well, there was one black guy at the hospital too. Yeah. Okay, black guy, and so so the yeah. the, the lady was a black woman. Uh, at the, that who was a therapist. <clears throat> the therapist was a black woman. And then the the woman who he was fantasizing about, spoiler alert, was a black woman. Yeah, actually, I hadn't noticed that. I, I, I didn't understand. I, I didn't understand that. Well, he also aspect got. Of it. I, yeah, I think he also got because fucked over by his white coworkers and stuff. But yeah, I agree. There was actually a lot a lot of his that was negativity. Like the main theme. Yeah, I just I just didn't understand that, and it wasn't understand that I was like, Man. <clears throat> because if you're casting for a movie that is written that well. Like that's just on purpose. Like, what is the purpose? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, I would just, like I would be more him. curious. Yeah, I would, I would love the, the to understand the purpose of it. Yeah, that is interesting. Because because it was it, like to to pretend like those kind of issues that he was facing aren't racially infused, right? So like when he's being bullied, he's being bullied. Maybe they flipped it on its head because urbanized kids. because the Joker's white, but usually usually like minority <clears throat> communities are suffering the same shit. Maybe it was be. maybe it was just a flip of the situation to kind of make it so. Um, so this is a white guy experiencing this at the hands of of minority people. Minorities. Why, like maybe you can well, then, maybe you can empathize. That plays the hands. Well, I know it does. Then that plays but, into the hands yeah. of the <coughs> fringe left critique yeah. of the movie. Of course, of course, he's not racist in the movie. At least he's not <laughs> openly racist in the movie, I guess. But he yeah, he doesn't discriminate about who he's killing. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't. Well, he pines after the black lady too, and he's like, he's like, he has this like crazy fantasy about it, and uh, mm -hmm. um, yeah. So uh, I I think it might be, um, uh, maybe to to see like okay, so this is what minority people usually go through at the hands of white people. Let's see what happens when you flip it. But um, I can see the yeah, I, can see the I it, it probably plays a lot of different roles. Um, just based on how um that guy makes films and uh, how Joaquin Phoenix acts but uh I thought it was I thought it was I thought it was a very pretty movie showing like if you if you stop helping people there's going to be there's going to be a point when it just fucking falls apart and mm -hmm. uh th was, this yeah, whole movie this whole movie changes if if um uh Thomas Wayne, the billionaire, uh, gives right. gives his money to people and like helps his community. This doesn't exist. It's literally mm. caused by his billionaire existence. Mm. It's amazing. And, it and a, Batman a, is still the bad guy. Yeah, it's a great critique on capitalism. I agree. For sure. And so and so that's so like that's that's kind of like the question, right? Is I this is our? Could you imagine a movie that coming like that in the, in the no 80s? no way. it wouldn't have worked. Because it's it's the it's the villain being uh, the villain is the as, economic as the system as heroin as as a hero. Well, the villain um, isn't even the Joker in it. The villain is literally economic oppression, and that's what I'm saying. So we've yeah. grown up thinking Batman is the or the Joker is the antithesis of the Batman, right? Batman is the hero, Joker is the villain. But then you deep in, you dig deeper into the psychology of what we view as the villain. Yeah, he's not really that bad. <clears throat> what he's doing is. Um, his 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 actions aren't justified, but his motive is. Yeah, and that is the difference. And so my 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 curiosity <clears throat> stems from like, what is the end game to that? What is the okay two generations from now? What is our hero arc? I think your hero archetype is going to look a lot like disenfranchised people. Robin Hood. Uh, kind of Robin Hoody, but not. Again, it's not. I don't think it's going to be like one entity doing the. Th I think it's going to be people working together in a coalition to make better a situation. Like it's going towards that, though. Yeah, yeah. And so, I don't know. I our superhero narratives are going to be pretty interesting moving forward because we're gonna we're gonna be recycling just due to the way that we just you know hyper uh, capitalize on nostalgia. Um, I think things like. Um, traditional family and marriage and sexuality and gender and economic stability and the way we live our lives and conservatism and liberalism and progressivism. I think all of these things are going to end up being really under the microscope of like these sort of pop culture things where you're going to have like, you're going to have really 
surprising demographics come out. Like, like, right. I think in, in, in 20 years, it's not going to be weird to have like, like a, like a gender fluid hero. Like, I don't necessarily right. think it's going to be super weird. Um, <coughs> part of that's right. going to be rainbow capitalism. Um, but your, your youth but, right now is already normalizing it. Yeah. Um, and, uh, brand campaigns are already catering to it. Yeah. Which just sucks that we have to ride brands to the fucking, but it this, again, that's but that, why I but that's how you, capitalism because yeah, yeah. that's just how it works. That's what, that's how you normalize things in America. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and I, I mean, there's no remedy for it until the system is, we need, we need more people in Congress and things like that more towards progressive ideas. Um, but that's also interesting too, is how, um, even the most cons- like I, I feel like <coughs> the con- the most conservative of the conservative people in America, <coughs> excuse me, are fringe. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't think that it's a a normal ideology to be like really conservative. <coughs> yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't think, think so either. I, I think, think it's normal. You're seeing uh, <clears throat> usually this happens um, again historically. Progressive politics win all the time because the idea behind progressive politics is we progress with the time, right? <laughs> that, like that not, has always that has always been hilarious to me. Like we're not we're not conserving things. Like and by the way, <clears throat> there's there's aspects of excuse my coughing, but I'm sorry. No, you're good. There's there's aspects <laughs> of like the idea of <clears throat> conserving X that is good, right? Like conserving part. When I talked about this last night on stream conserving part of your familial familial traditions, right? Like my tradition growing up was it was very multicultural and we had a lot of different food and people brought stuff, right, to Thanksgiving, right? It wasn't just this uh, white people fest, right? And I thought that was always interesting. Um, mm-hmm. We started, well, I'm trying to start a new tradition in my family where instead of getting um, like everybody presents, we just spoil mom, right? Because she spoils us all mm-hmm. the time. Right, and I, because because I don't need I don't need a fucking blender or whatever the fuck you're gonna get me. I don't care. I don't want that shit. So I would rather just like, you know, my mom's caught in the fucking stone age. She doesn't even want internet and shit. Like let's 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 help her life as she ages. Get her get her a few things now and then, stuff that she'll like. Go in on stuff, and you know, because she doesn't know how to take care of herself because she grew up on like fucking canned green beans and shit. Like that's good <laughs> food, good shit to her. So like, I don't know. Right. I, I think the idea of conserva- con- like just conservation in general can be good, but not politically. Like, politically speaking, you've got to keep moving. Like, his- historically, it doesn't even make sense. Right. Like, I like conserving I, art. I like conserving, like, films and nature and different stuff like that. There's, there's conservative things I hold on to, but not like my idea but even, of but even sex then, is this. You can't change it. Like... Do whatever you want to do. Like, like your your freedom is not for me to talk about. Like, but even if you look at like conservative ideology, they've progressed over the years. Uh, oh yeah, there's a reason. And, and there's so, a reason that so they're trying to like co-opt people like Kanye. Like, exactly, exactly, this is not happening right? in the 1950s, exactly. my guys. And so it's like they're what they're what they're clinging on to, and and what they don't realize is they're not even to conservative ideology. They're they're clinging on to a power structure. Yep all you're clinging on to and 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 once you once they realize that like <clears throat> they don't have the numbers anymore they're not going to soon it's gonna slowly <coughs> skew towards what your man paul joseph watson was talking about he said uh conservative <laughs> conservatism is the new pop or punk, punk rock or whatever rock. and that's not even a, that's not even like a <laughs> nah, come on. he's so fucking lame dude. <laughs> it's not even a an accurate analogy in today's world. It might have been like in the eighties. <laughs> Fuck. Nah. Conservatives the new punk rock. Like, no, punk rock is not <laughs> counterculture, bro. Yeah, you're literally conservatism is literally conserving culture, not like <clears throat> making it a new thing. Like, yeah. I think they think let's go back to mm-hmm. the thing I like. When do you want to go back to? What are they even trying to get to? The fifties? Do they want to go to the fifties? Because I don't think I they th- do. I had Tommy. I had Tommy Lauren on my podcast. I said that. I said, I like, when do you realize? <clears throat> when do you realize? It's, we're gonna release it here soon. But I was like, when you when you realize that, that whole "Make America Great Again" slogan, 
is one of the most asinine statements that you could possibly make. Right. I say because we say you make America great, and you already noticed, but like I told her, I was like, you want to make America great again? What era are you trying to replicate? Like, what do you want to go back to? I said this shit almost almost two years ago now, and it you're was just, funny to watch. You're just now camera. releasing this. Yeah, it was a, it was a long time ago, but it was it's because I was under a a contract with a podcast company that only did audio, and they paid out the wazoo, but I was exclusive to them. And um, <clears throat> I realized that the brand that I had built with my podcast wasn't worth the money that they were paying me. Gotcha. And so I'm re-releasing the podcasts that I, the podcasters, the podcast, the podcast, the, the podcast I, that I, uh, uh-uh. <laughs> that's interesting, right? Octopuses. Octopi. The plural? No, it's not. I like it's octopi octopuses. better. It, and that, that, that's probably makes more sense. But the but the actual def- the definition isn't that. <coughs> like hippopotamuses. Is that it? It's not I think it's hippo- I think it's hippopotamuses. You ever heard that I want a hippopotamus for Christmas song? It's pretty no. white people. Okay. I don't want it. I don't think I will. I'll be okay with that. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Yep. And. Because I'm white and I can have whatever. <laughs> Send me your. And actually, <laughs> they're one of the most fucking dangerous yeah, animals they're, they're in nuts. the wild, dog. Dude, have you ever seen them eat a fucking side. watermelon? It's savage as fuck. <clears throat> no, but I've I've it's awful. read story after story about how they're one of the number one killers in Africa. Yeah. In it's the crazy. wild. Hippopotami. They're badasses. Hippopotami are fucking don't like fuck if you ever see one, you just don't. It's not. Don't fuck with it. Don't fuck with it. But anyway, I'm gonna call it right there, man. Yeah, that's that's my three hours. It is. We did three and a half, or so. We're good at this. We nailed it every time. Every hey, bro, time. I think I think we got something going, man. We just gotta keep yep. being consistent. I'm gonna get some pretty fucking um artwork on the top here. So, were you gonna make a song? Did you want to make a song? You were talking about a song. You mentioned oh, right, it. Definitely. That's you what I do. Up. Okay. You brought, you brought it up, motherfucker. Uh, I can't sing, but can I be on the track anyway? <laughs> we'll put that fucking giggly ass laugh on it. Do the giggly ass laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I hit you when we cooking, because that's what we do. Like I've, I've done a bunch terrible. of, I've done a bunch of like songs for brands and stuff. I was gonna do y'all's Quran Reloaded, but uh, I just I forgot about it honestly. Oh, that was a while ago too. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Wait, you do songs like, for brands? When's a lot? What? Mm-hmm. Wait, wait. Mm-hmm. I want, how come I don't know about your jingle oh, game? My jingle game strong, bro. Uh, here, let me see if we can find. What? We can talk about it next it, time it, if you can. Okay, but we'll yeah. do that. I want to. I want to hear that. about your jingles. I didn't know you did jingles. Do jingle a jango? Oh, I watched it. We'll talk about this next time too. But I watched um, on Netflix. I, I recommend it. The history or the evolution of hip hop. Mm-hmm. It shows you how it started. Oh, bro, beautiful series, gorgeous series. Shows you how it started and and kind of like the evolution of, of where it went and how. It went. Mm-hmm. It's gorgeous, but we'll talk about that next time. I'll watch it in the meantime. Bam! We about. have more things to talk about, man. All right. We well, have a wonderful right, day. Thank you for all the uh, the conversation as per usual, man. Yes, sir. Uh, likewise, man. I hope you have a beautiful day. Tell uh, Sarah I'm still waiting on the evidence because she made a hell of a fucking claim. <laughs> I will. I'm waiting on that. All right, all right. All right, man. Send love to your sweet potato soup making family. Sweet po- oh, fuck that, dude. And, uh, <laughs> I forgot. I'm getting I'm getting like triggered. I forgot about that. Shit was horrible, man. Holy so shit. so terrible. Man. The mac and cheese looks pretty good. I'm just saying. It's all good. All right, fam. Take care. We'll see you next Sunday. Yes, sir. Yep, yep.